Alright. We all set? Yep. Great. Uh, Alright. Would you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right. Anything we missed for the agenda? Um, do you want to have uh, the executive session oh. for our evaluation? I still don't have mine for. Uh, hmm? I don't have mine for Nancy and Blue. So why don't we no, wait no, no, for no. twenty six? We were going to do Katie tonight. Are we ready to do that? Oh. Just her part of us as the clerk in the board. Right. Uh, it's up to the board because it's huh. the four of you really more than anybody. Yeah, because you sort of do yours separately. Yeah, exactly. Ariana. Um, yeah, yeah. I think we should. Okay. I, I mean, I'd also like to, I feel like there's some of the budget discussion that has to do with personnel and the evaluations we already got should be done in the executive session, right? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, though I think it would probably be best if we had at least the board salary discussion at a regular meeting rather than an odd night. Me separate. Yeah, just have, because I'm assuming we're going to have more after tonight. This is just the... Run through. The run through, and right. we'll identify any areas. thorny areas. Okay. So I, I, like consensus in thorny areas. I don't want to. I don't want to do that because I think that we should have budget discussion. I mean, we have we're having a special meeting. We should discuss the budget as we want to discuss it, and not hold off on anything because I don't want to wait till the last minute on any of it. When do we have to set the May. budget bill? The final the budget has to be adopted by May 1st. May 1st but yeah, the, the hearing is hearing April 15th. April 15th. Mm -hmm. So we've got another meeting on the 26th. So I figured tonight and the 26th should be enough time to have budget. Just two meetings should be enough to have budget discussions. And well, set let's the public see if we can get as much done tonight okay. as we can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. Um, all right. Let me put this away so I'm not distracted. Um, Agenda, public comments, consent agenda. So the bills and claims last because Rebecca and I have them done by the end of the meeting. Uh, all right. So I, well, I I wrote the thing. So I assume you guys you have notes on it. Bills and claims. Yeah, but later at the end, oh. after we've signed them all, we've got oh, another yeah, two dozen. Okay. Um, I guess I'll I'll leave it to you guys. I mean, I I've been back and forth over this for a couple months with Nancy and Rebecca. So is there any place in particular you'd like to well, start just, or flag? I was going to suggest, Jason, since you're in the midst of, but you may have them done, so it wouldn't maybe matter. But on our non-elected, I mean, I'm not talking about elected, on our non-elected sure. salary increases, I was thinking that we would remove those increases from the budget lines and place that total sum in the contingency line until the evaluations are completed. And we also, for the union employees, I would recommend all of those increases that you're showing be put in contingency because the new contract isn't settled. What's, what's the benefit to doing that versus just leaving it in situ? I've been reading art history books. Um, Leaving it where it is and simply changing it where it is when we find the numbers. Well, what's, because, what's the, I don't, I'm not seeing the. Well, generally, <clears throat> when you place it in the budget by individual names, and I'm just going to talk about the union now, that implies that a certain percentage is going to be awarded um, by contract. And we are nowhere near ready to settle the contract. So we may settle for less, we may settle I for see. more, so we leaving want to use some of that backwards. Um, and so I would recommend the whole sum be put into contingency until such time as the contract is settled. Um, for non-elected, um, 
because of the new evaluation process um, <clears throat> that you are implementing this year, um, you may want to recommend somebody for 4% and somebody for 2%, right. which would average out to 3 uh, but presumably, because you are doing the evaluation, not everybody's going to get the same percentage. Right. So that's why I would recommend non-elected. And, and what about union? Um, because what, we, what I have because in now is 3% across the board because we don't know what the contract is going to say. We are nowhere near settlement. Okay. So I would suggest being, I mean, it's totally up to the board what they want to do. I mean, all we would be doing is moving it from one spot of the worksheets to another. It wouldn't have changed the total amount. It won't change later. the total yeah. amount. It'll change, it could change the apportionment. Right, right. Um, and it does not, and it, it also is not leading people to believe that they are going to get a certain percent, percentage when they may or may see, not based right. upon your evaluation of them. What do the rest of you think? Well, I have a question in terms of um, union contract and and the you know the expired contract and putting in contingency. Are we obligated to give the last year's rate like the the last year of the contract give that raise moving forward until there's a new contract no, no. It remains at the salaries that they are at when the contract expired Lo longevity and that kind of thing yes but not okay if, so i think their last the last raise was 2.5 percent right. and if you look at the contract it's it's listed specifically as year one year two year three of the right contract. i know so there's yeah but so because of that there's none of that presumption you usually have the contracts so that it continues I think all the all the parameters of the contract, except for the raises, yeah. continue. Like right. you got to give them a good allowance, and they get a certain number of days off. But you may also so. settle with retroactive. Right. So you have to think about retroactive, and then for this coming year. So I would recommend that it all be put in contingency. Tom, Rebecca, what do you have any strong opinions on that? I don't have a strong opinion about it, but uh, I wonder, you know, is the, the primary issue uh, not uh, advertising in advance that there would be a pot, of money. Uh, a pot of money and thereby creating expectations that could lead to difficulty rather than that there's an internal technical issue. Right. right. But if that's the case, then... I would defer to those of you who have been around longer and you know uh, I don't what think, the expectations yeah. of personnel are. I don't think there's any expectations because at this point people just kind of get it. So they know that the union employees know that their salary is based on the union. The management know that it's based on their final numbers. Uh, but if you think it'll clear things up, it, I don't think it matters one way or the other. Well, I mean, Ariana, you also are engaged in negotiation. What do you think? Um, I mean, I would not have thought of it the way Sally has put it, but I'm certainly not opposed. Um, and I, I mean, based on how negotiations have gone so far and where I think we're at, um, I would imagine we'll be, I mean, as long as we actually set up a meeting soon, um, that we would be able to finish it certainly before this fiscal year is over. So um, putting it in contingency for now would not be... A bad idea. It's not a bad idea. No. Okay. Um, just because we don't, you know, I think what's, you know, the the expectation of, uh, you know, a certain percentage is, you know, could be there. Yeah. Um, well, I, I mean, I know, I know how people for. can, uh, uh, you, you know, reify something like a budgetary, a tentative budgetary figure. Right. So that can happen. And if we uh, if we can avoid that by putting it in contingency without jeopardizing any other negotiation, then I suppose it's okay with me. Okay, cool. That's fine. Okay, so um, we'll move those. I guess instruct Nancy to move them because she knows where they are budget lines specifically. Okay. What's and next? Corollary to that, and I don't know how other people feel, 
but I do not think any employee who has been hired within this year and has not been with us a year should get a salary <clears throat> increase. I agree. And, and um, the, I saw the IT position had an increase. We don't even have anyone in that position. Right, right? that has a percentage. The, I think it's very ridiculous to increase that if uh, nobody's even working there. All right, any objections? No. All right. So we'll have Nancy make that ob objection. <laughs> do we, that correction. But we do agree that you should be with us a year and evaluate. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, in, uh, oh, no, we'll talk about this later. Can I bring it up? No, I'm just wondering on the, uh, it, do we need to mention, do we need to include in the personnel expenses under department manager who we're actually talking about there? The ten thousand uh, dollars. I wondered about that. Oh, that was that was to continue what we're doing now with Nancy. And yes, Lou, it's yeah. to increase. It's to add this task to Nancy's. Right. The same because and the blue also. Right. Another to basically so do, do it we, for do another we just, six do months. We, we we should put in that it's Nancy Branco. I don't think we have to. We don't, we don't have, have to. to. No. Because no. these are the. I mean, these are the works we can. It's. It doesn't hurt. Well, well, I, I mean, every I everything else has a name attached. We yeah. were going to evaluate this in six months, Jason. Right. So would that be a good thing to put in contingency also? And then if with the whole were, amount in contingency. If your recommendation, well, Jason's recommendation was until. May 31st, right. we would do this. And then evaluate it and determine whether that should continue or not beyond. Okay. So, but we're two and a half months away from that right. period. Right. And both Blue and Nancy um, think that it's going well and there's more to be done. So that's why I put it in there. But contingency well, well, that's why I work. think putting it in contingency is a good idea. <laughs> I'd move it to Because even though there's more to be done, what if in two months we say, well, we we only want to do, we could, we only need to do it for another three months, right, right, right. and it's only 5,000 right. as opposed to right. I would do that. That's fine. Any objections? No. no. Okay. As long as, it, Kay, you're making a note, obviously, of what we're moving. Yes, so I we remember what's there. I, I'm making notes. Okay, good. And then you and I can review them. Yeah. Make sure. All right. Well, actually, is there anything else that would fall in that category of things we should I move the contingency? So. I don't have anything else. Well, one, uh, I don't know about moving uh, into contingency, um, but uh, there was one thing that came out uh, in my review. That is, uh, we had uh, money this year for uh, comprehensive planning, mm -hmm. and uh, we will not have spent or that money during this year. Does that simply carry over because there's no money in next year? No, it would go back into the general fund, but we would simply remove it from the fund balance as needed. Okay. If that's the case. Because we had budgeted the whole, I can't remember, did we budget the whole, our whole share of that or half you of the share? You don't short your fund balance. We've got, we've got plenty, we've got enough. We had money, we had more than enough should, money I in think there. we should budget it and take it out of fund balance. Yeah, no, I'm, we're saying the same six of one half dozen of the other. I'm we're just saying, saying the same thing. I'm just saying, yeah, that if, if our share of the master plan we need to budget. can't extend past June, it, it, anything left over goes into the fund balance. So next year we just take that amount out of the fund balance and it's the same thing as I would I would budget for it because we committed to it. So I'd show it in the budget. Even okay. though we have it in this year's budget, it doesn't already. roll. It does not yeah. roll. All right. no, I understand that. That's why I'm, I'm bringing yeah. it up. Yeah, I'm glad you did. So, okay, so uh, Ke uh, Kelly, <laughs> it's okay. having a flashback. Um, Katie. <laughs> well, that's a few years. Yeah, so this a few years ago. She's an being, so yeah. I take it and as a, and a very gifted clerk. Yeah, nice person. Um, Do you remember the total? <laughs> just make a note that uh, it was. It had been, so Kelly. Uh, I'll make a note that. Uh, I get. Okay. That. We would have to make it the offset that with other revenue because it's a it's a revenue neutral proposition. Meaning we would be taking it out of 
something or raise the fund balance by the same amount that we're adding to the budget because the money is going into the fund balance. And I'll, I'll talk to Nancy about the mechanics of it. But that that also shouldn't adjust the final numbers. Either. No, it should not. It should just be balanced right. from one apply right. to another. Right. Right. All right. What else? Um, what else? I'm Flowers, not a big controversial issue this year? Not yet. What is uh, Flowers? Um, street lighting. We mm -hmm. agree. What to number is that to you? Um, A5182. <clears throat> we authorized putting up more street lights along with the college area. Right. Yep. And I don't, I could not find that in the budget. And I don't know whether it's just in Blue's budget or whether we didn't put it in. And I don't know how much right. money we're talking about. Well, the street lighting is part of Blue's budget, so it would be in here. But it's a question for Blue. Did he add the additional street lighting? How many do we, do anyone remember how many we were going to look at? Ariana, five. do you remember? Was it five? Five. 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 Yeah, I think they oh, <clears throat> Okay, so I'm just going to question are five additional street lights budgeted, right? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to talk to Blue about that or should I talk to him? Uh, I'm just making notes. Okay. It's also in the minutes that I'm taking, so I think okay. we'll see them fairly shortly. And I couldn't see it because he didn't break it out. And I looked in the worksheets. It doesn't look like so. to be that way. No, I don't think so. No, it's I can't get anywhere else it would be hidden either. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking that since they have not gone in yet, uh, you know, in terms of budgeting for them, one of one of the things, I mean, certainly these energy, <coughs> we're talking about LED lights, um, you know, maybe we should, I, like I asked at Central Hudson what the options were, and LED was not one of them. Um, Did they say why? They, they they just told me, they told me what the options were. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's sodium <coughs> vapor, mercury vapor. I wonder if it's the housing. Like you can't just plug in an LED light into the socket. Well, I think that and they I think that they would cost us money. Like I know Rosendale is looking at doing it. Um, what to switch the bulb? Yeah, to switch the LED lighting, and I think it does cost money. Yeah. So I don't know how much money, but it saves Money for something we don't own either, which is kind of weird. Since we pay rent <laughs> to the central Right, right, I understand. Um, but what so maybe that question? Way? What? I mean, yeah, I don't know. What are, we, what are our thoughts on this? I mean, I don't know how quickly we can act on it to include it in the budget anyway, but... No, no, but Ariane, I'm trying to, so I can make a note. The, the question, we know it's not in the current budget. Right. You're asking how much more would it cost to, to do LED lighting? Yeah. How much more? New question. Mm -hmm. I can call Robert Rose until tomorrow. That would be great. Ask them if they yeah. That would be fantastic. Also, because if, if um, I, you know, if, if it's possible, are they looking to purchase <coughs> them, Rosendale? I believe they yeah. are. Okay. Yeah. Because that, you know, that would be an option for us too, and Especially. certainly wouldn't wouldn't hurt. Right. Since we don't have any public, I'm gonna swing around so I can hear Ariana there. Oh, yeah. Why not? Okay. So I will call Rosendale tomorrow and ask them mm -hmm. what's going on, what the anticipated cost, what they are actually doing to be able to report back in an email to the trustees. Cool, thank you so much, Katie. Oh, that doesn't have an arm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reaching for the arm while I'm looking at my notes and I'm thinking, uh, we don't want to lose you. Lose you. <laughs> okay, so that's a new question. How much more to do LED lights mm -hmm. than what we have? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, at the end of the meeting, could you get one of these for anyone who doesn't have one? Anyone not have a village of New Paltz? I do not have one. Right. So my, um, I won't have access to the, but I will get it for everyone first thing in the morning. I won't have access to the building. Bre the Brenda's going to be here at 8. Oh, I would sure. like to put $15,000 back in the trustees' budget for consolidation issues, should we decide to do what consolidation issues do you foresee? Well. And what number are we looking at? A10? A, we're looking at A1010. A what? A1010. It's the trustee's budget. And. It would be under. 
Now, the Trap. question oh. we used, oh. yeah. here's the, what Tom was asking earlier. We took money from that $35,000 for the joint master plan for the, this year's part of the joint master plan. Right. So, do we just want to leave that money in which would cover the joint master plan, in other words, the next year, and just carry that forward? Well, we would have paid... I'm not sure I understand what you're asking, but... I think the whole thing was going to be... We would have paid 12500 <laughs> as of right. June 1st for the it was master plan. 55000 divided by half was 20... Well, it, well, you can see it right there in the columns. Yeah. Uh, 35000 was put in the budget. That was for year. consolidation. Yeah. Right. And oh, we you mean for the master plan. <laughs> we used some of that this year. Right. Yes. We transferred it over. Right. Okay. <clears throat> and we had a balance left. My question is, do you want to just leave that 35000 there, which would cover the rest of our obligation for the joint master plan next year, and then would leave probably about ten thousand dollar balance. Twenty thousand dollar balance. Because if it's if it's we, half of fifty five thousand and we've paid half in this fiscal year. We haven't paid half. We paid about. Well, we will have paid by June first. Yeah. So it should have been one quarter of the total. In this half of fiscal year, I one quarter was, of June to December, right? I thought it was <coughs> going to have to be. Well, I, I know we had a lag. That's what a would have happened had right. everything been started timed. early, right. but we didn't but start we, in yeah, time. Didn't start okay. on time. What time did we start paying, Kurt? Not until February first, right? February. So just a month behind. Yeah. Well. <coughs> so that would mean removing it from contingency. The yeah, take it out of contingency. Take it out of just contingency leave it just in the it. trustee's account right there. Um, I mean, it's, up, it's, it's all just bookkeeping. So. Yeah, so it's where you're going to move the money to. But it would be also, you're looking at an increase in this over what the tentative budget, because... You, there's nothing in the tentative budget. For consolidation. For consolidation. Right. So nothing would, at all. Right. And there's nothing for joint master plan. No, we have the master plan in here. What long? It's not. We have a whole separate sheet for the master plan. Oh. Where did I? Then that may be. Stick it to. I was. See, I should have asked Nancy to be here tonight. She, yeah. Surprised. She asked, and it just didn't. Is it after law, Jason? No. Yeah. Election. It's, as far as I can tell, there's no actual meaning or order to these. These numbers. I didn't even look for this code. It would be a new. Yeah, but you can stick the new ones in anywhere, you know. It would be new planning, do you think? Probably. You, well, you'd think, but the state code guidelines don't seem right. to have much what of a is rhyme or reason. For planning. It's one of the last ones. Yeah, I know. Uh, 8020. That sounds about right. Master Plan Consultant. You have it? Yeah. Okay. $15,182. Okay, so we don't need to worry about it. It's in. Yeah, it's in here, just not in contingency. No, so we don't need it in contingency. Right, and we don't need it in the trustees. But now, no, what I'm asking is may we put 15000 into the trustees' account there's nothing for consolidation right. at all. I guess my question is, what what would is a foreseeable need? Because I mean, I've been following the emails about the meetings, the but I haven't seen any. Is going to recommend a referendum. Okay. To the joint boards, what the joint boards right. do with it is totally up. But the efficiency committee will be making a recommendation. So how much we already have money budgeted for next year's election? This so would be November, so... Oh, it wouldn't be the May... So that would be not even this fiscal year. Or, or you don't mean in... This November? Five months from now. Yeah. And so, that would not be... And wouldn't that, that come, would out of the town, wouldn't that come out of the town A fund? Because it would have to be, as a town-wide election, it would be I run by the Board of Elections. So we wouldn't actually pay anything right. 
Well, we would pay it through the A fund, but, but not would, through the village right. director. It's not village budget, but we would need to have hearings and probably. Is that covered already under the legal notices for the trustees? So. I don't think. And we don't have there. A, we don't have a limit. Um, do we actually do we bring that out? Legal notice is 500. 500. But we also have legal every. I mean, That's we have legal. Us. We have legal everywhere through the budget. Yeah. So, I mean, all right, so there would be no actual election running the election expenses. There would be no no significant public notices would, because we're just looking at an extra public an hearing or two. If, if we wanted to do this correctly, it would be the village would be having an election at the same time the town would be having an election because it's the village government and the town government that are voting to consolidate. So it would be a town And there's going to be yeah. legal questions. It's just so that you could actually break that out easily since... I, I would think $10,000. The, the election districts are broken out and match the municipal boundaries. So the village election, village one residents four. 1, 4, and 9, basically only those machines would have a village question or I, guess, I don't know if it would be the same. But we give, yeah. Whatever it is, it's just I'm I'm just trying to I would think I'm trying to walk down the road to see where we're where we we would be spending well, how much money through the, through that budget, assuming assuming everything goes smoothly and this is what happens. Yeah. How much is it really going to cost us? Well, that's where I'm going to look and see what Katie has budgeted for an election in the village I because it's like twenty eight hundred. Huh? How much? I think it was twenty eight hundred. Okay. And that's your legal notices and everything, Kate? Yeah, I'm looking right this thing. I because I had overestimated you know, the, we need to wolf rank for any additional. I, mean, I just see like a little kitty fund for that, but not like anything not we don't need five yeah, figures. Two thousand seven hundred and ninety five. Mm -hmm. For for the election it's two thousand seven hundred and ninety five. Right. And I did select um, a higher number because it's and, many and you were ways. using the county machines, oh, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. I think that yeah, it that says, would be good coverage there. Well, that's for that's for everything to run an election of seven thousand people. So we don't need even twenty eight hundred. Oh, well, you might. We would just need well, no, the town. Assuming the town is running the actual machines and all that and inspectors as they should. If it's I don't town know legally village. whether that's true. I don't know whether we have to do it separately. And the um, town outside the village does it separately. That's so you're saying what, like, twenty eight hundred dollars would plus, cover us just plus, in case? Yeah. And plus then we just use it for rights. something else. Well, but we the thing is that if it's a, if it's a town election, how many? All right, Dan and I were just talking about this. How many um, locations are there that three. villagers vote in? One, two, it's no, they all three. Hall, the middle school. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and Dale Hall, because it, it's one. At, oh, at campus. Yeah, in campus. Three. Yeah. So there's three. Yeah. So it would be, you know, this is the cost for two scan at two scan ballots, or no? Oh, that's two. The village only has two districts when you're having a village election. <clears throat> But when it's a town election, Yugana Street is what number is district? Oh no, no, when you have a village we election, there's only one. <laughs> one. Hmm? So this is the cost of one election location. No, two. No? No. One election location but two districts. Three village districts. Has, no, district. village has three districts, one, four, and nine. Right. But there's one location that you right. can vote at. Right. So that one, four, and nine becomes three locations that you can vote at. So that's what I'm saying. Like this 2,800 number, 2,795, but 2,800 um, is for one location. So if we multiply that by three, is something like what it would cost us. Although there will be, right. you know, there will already be like election inspectors, or you know, there will be something, some costs that might be rolled into it. But basically, isn't there an inspection an election this fall anyway? Yeah. There, there's an election. So there's no additional expenses for, for booths, for rentals, for election inspectors. This is just another ballot question. Y yes, but okay. So when I go vote at the middle school, it's not just district. It's like separated one and five and See, four I don't know and the six. I, don't know the, the I believe logistics are how, this will how work. it's separated. So. When I go to the mid, like I used to go to Dale Hall and I did, but I wasn't voting. I used to be in District One. Now I'm in District Four, or maybe it's the opposite. But either way, 
I used to vote at Dale Hall, but I wasn't voting with four. other villagers. I was voting with townspeople. So, and the same thing with the middle school. It's separated by North and South of Main Street. Except when I lived every on Main Street, I used to Dale Hall. Every district four machine is a village machine. So you could know how the village <laughs> voted outside the town by just adding up one, four, and nine. There's nobody you who lives separate in. Separate by district when you go vote. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So now, there's no additional expense for running the election. But the only be additional, expenses. the only additional expenses is, is the the ballot question, which is already being printed anyway. But since the ballot being printed. But would that be considered part of Will's retainer or above and beyond? It'd be part of his retainer. It covers mm -hmm. everything. No, but it covers everything until the hours. We would have legal stuff. questions that we would want him to explore on our. Right, which would be included in, as his retainer. It is. Yeah, anything that comes up. Then let's just put five thousand dollars in for our part of the election. If we'll but that's the thing. But but it's already happened. it's already it's already being yeah. it's already being paid for. We don't have to pay for anything additional for the election. We're all going to go vote for Congress and whoever else. It's up right, this fall. The same Are they going machines. to be able to differentiate without charging us villages? Yes. Yes. Because only people who live in the village, the only people who can vote on, on machines for districts one, four, and nine are village residents. And all village residents vote on those three machines. But, no, but the machines are, are not different. This is the thing. You go, you, when, you, when you go and you sign in, that's separated by district. Right. But, but once you vote, it's all the same. See, I'm not sure they take the, when I go, because you don't, you don't I, thought was, I thought the ballots registered which election district it came from. I don't think no, so. No, I think they're all the same. It's just, well, it's, it's does only when you're signing in. Does someone want to find out, yes. find this out between now and, and March 26th? Yes. All right. Because it seems like something we can't really, we need more information. I, I think I certainly we do. Okay. I don't get any of that. that one, yes, I absolutely will. All right, so we'll put a little asterisk there. Okay, Katie checking. Oh, election machine costs. All right. All right. What's next? Small thing. Yeah. Um, what number? I, I'd like to actually go back off. But Tom had something. Okay. This second. is back in the uh, uh, trustees' budget. We have an actual of six hundred for this year, and we're projecting uh, tentatively three hundred for. For printing and uh, copying and postage. Mm -hmm. That's based on everything in 2014, 2015, with some obvious exceptions, uh, is based on what we actually spent yeah. versus projected. So we budgeted 600. That's what I would to see here. Uh, you have those. Oh, those other sheets. Yeah, you have those you can, where you can see. Yeah. I didn't compare because I, I can't. We do have a balance as thing. of the end of February under no, contractual okay. expenses. Twenty-seven thousand six thirty-six left. Okay, of which two renewal. Um, the computer renewal rental or whatever it is is coming due, and the service contract for the copier is coming. That comes mm -hmm. later. So we'll probably end up. Jason's right. We don't need it. We don't need it. Nope. Because a lot of your we're going to have <coughs> this is, this is trustees yeah. only. Yeah. So a lot of things happen in other budget right. lines. Yeah. yeah. Some things are one-time item expenses, but they won't necessarily be expended until say April first, and then you get hit with it. Right. Whenever your contracts are due, but even with that considered, I think. Jason's okay. budget projection is correct. I'm happy. And right. I also did look at the everything in Nancy's office, so I did see the. Yeah, I, I had my sides. worksheets. If anybody wants them. Okay. But the thing is that these these other sheets that say how much was expended don't have the same breakdown as the worksheets, so I can't see. Like Nikon, for instance, I have a question about that. There's. There's Nikon conference for, and there's additional conferences dash Nikon slash other. And we had, I, I could see where, you know, there was 2,000, now there's nothing, there's 3,000, now there's 4,000. Um, 
you know, for the coming year. And I just was wondering, like, okay, well, did we just not spend that 2000 on the Nikon conference? No, kind of that's... Went? Like, you know, and that's not stuff that's on the other sheets. And a lot of it won't be because, well, that that's one change that would be I mean, because the total of all this is what's on the other sheet. Right. Um, there are more breakouts, and actually we can get copies of last year's budget worksheets, obviously, for anyone who wants them. Uh, that one in particular, um, I realized well, that there's no reason to break out Nikon as a specific conference. And you so I just I lowered, it, I lowered I added add the two up. I lowered it by a thousand based on what people actually want, uh, went to, and then that way you're not restricted to going to Nikon if you run out of the other money. That's right. really all it was. Is why why restricted mm -hmm. to Nikon only? I mean, it makes sense. I was just curious, like if we didn't spend any of that two thousand. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, th that's why this is what's actually. Nobody budgeted. went to Nikon conferences this past year. Yeah. I mean, I know I didn't go. It was okay. not. So I think like, it's, it's fair went. to merge them well, together. Well, no, that's not true because Stuart and I went. No, nope, that was two years ago. Nope. Never mind. But you can still use this other stuff for Nikon. I went to two conferences here, but they weren't Nikon. So I think. No, this makes I sense. would encourage us all to try to go if you know, if we can. But I think the four thousand yeah. should cover us. No, I think it should too. I think that's fine. My my question was more about like there's nowhere that says how much was or was not spent. All you've got is how much was budgeted. Yeah, right. how much was spent. Um, like I had the and, same question right. as Tom with the six hundred to three hundred. And when I'm and, and when I'm sitting down with Nancy, looking at last year's worksheets and then the actuals, that's what we're figuring out. Right. But mm -hmm. but you're right. It's frustrating to me too because I'd like to have an automatic program that had the budgeted and then the actual and have our tracking system track whatever we use on the worksheets. That would be fantastic. I mean, I yeah, think, but I the state got, software doesn't you've allow got for a that. Software normal. program in there for that purpose, don't you? We looked, but it just doesn't do what we thought it was going to do. It we never bought it, but. Um, no, the state, the state the software that we have for the that we that works with the state, I think KBS, doesn't allow us to. It tracks a different way, and it's very frustrating. It's, except well, you'll notice, except you'll notice that the, the fire department budget does it in house. They do it at their own. Right. So they actually put it in every little worksheet. What well, can we use there? I'll we'll have to talk to Nancy. Yeah, it's just all it is is Molly with an Excel spreadsheet. I mean, once no, you no, buy it's, software, it's not a pro no, 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 it's not a program that does it automatically. They're they're entering it manually. It's just labor. Is what yeah. Jason said. But they do have a, the fire department does have a new computer software program. That oh yeah. That Hi Brenda. Hi. Oh Brenda. Do you Lovely. have some uh, advice on the budget? Or are you well, out of curiosity? Yes. Yes, she sent us an email. I, I emailed mm -hmm. you all about. Um, the planning building department um, needs and just wanted to stop in and see if you have any questions about that, um, possibly giving Brenda some more hours so that she can have a steady schedule um, that's more than just one and a half days a week. Mm -hmm. um, I would love that. I think the department would. She said that. she didn't want more than that when we hired her and that she had one day scheduled in because I asked Katie for her schedule and it got very confusing, didn't it? And she said that the other day was not logged in on a specific day, but was flex day depending on what she had to do. Okay. And I would love to see you take a hold of this department rather than asking for new stuff until you have it really under your wing and functioning the way you think it has to function. Okay. Then I think. So has she expressed, and she she's actually looking for other part-time work. She was she? looking for other part-time work, and I knew that budget discussions were coming up now, so I wanted to take the opportunity, if this was my only chance for the next year and a half, to say something. Uh, she has expressed that she would be interested in more hours. And right now she's working just Wednesdays and a varied schedule, and that's why um, she's, we pay her for two days. She works Tuesday evenings mm -hmm. and Wednesdays, and then if she has additional hours, she works somewhere else. But it's not a very set schedule right now. Um, so how many hours extra? I can't recall. Fifteen. A she, year. She's yeah, 15. got fifteen a week. Fifteen. How many extra does she? How many more is she looking for? Well, if we did a 10 to 2 every day, um, 
that would bring it up to 22 10 to 2 plus Tuesday evening mm -hmm. would be an extra seven hours but I believe it would jump into three-quarter time which means you would have to look at um, benefits I don't think we have to. Heather's three quarter time, I think. Um, Heather doesn't know benefits. Mm. But she's she's in two different jobs. Right. Yeah. Right. We brought that, that came up when there and was. And so it's one of our building inspectors, is 20 some hours a week. I don't know. Maybe it's 18. Yeah. What do you need? What do you need? I'm not against getting a better feel for the department. But I've seen so far that um, because everyone's schedules are so jagged, yes. um, a steady schedule every day would be awesome. So having a human being actually in the office every day, even though a short day, yes. would be better than having somebody at, on Tuesday nights and one whole day. Absolutely. Continuity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. So a nine to two or a ten to two would be awesome. <clears throat> yeah. And I've liked her initiative too. I think so too. She's got some great ideas. Um, she's a hard worker, and I just the only the only flaw that I'm seeing so far is uh, that she's just not there enough. I'm for it. Oh yeah. What do you think? Um, I mean, I like the I well. I know Brogan, um, so I feel like I don't want to be, I mean, she's not, we didn't like grow up together, we're not like lifelong friends, but I, I know her, you know, from outside of her working here, um, so I feel like my, my opinion and my weight on this is maybe somewhat biased, but, uh, well, I don't think it's biased, but I want to do full disclosure that, I guess is what it is. Um, I do like the idea of having somebody, I mean, the complaint I hear about the building department is that people come to see somebody and nobody's there at the door's locked, but the door's locked. Um, so, you know, does somebody interface with the community more regularly? And I think if we had a totally different, you know, like if Village Hall was set up completely differently, this wouldn't be an issue that we're facing because um, there would just be somebody there that is, you know, representing the village in some way and then directing somebody, whether or not the building inspector was present. But if the office is locked, I mean, I was here the other day and Rosalind was standing in the hallway and, you know, she had questions and luckily Brenda came up and from downstairs and was able to help her. Um, and then Rich came back and Holly came, or not Rich, Mark came back and Holly came back like right afterwards. But, you know, by a period of time where the building inspectors are out, it would be good to have somebody. Well, you've got Holly, you've got Brogan, Rich, Mark, Brenda. And, I and mean, for so long, yeah. I want to finish the thought. Yeah, 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 go ahead. The building department has been very screwed up, as we all know. Now it's starting to coalesce. Mm -hmm. And before adding more, I'd like to see a plan and a cohesion, not just, gee, I'd like to have. Because we hired Brogan and the planning board secretary and the ZBA secretary. They meet once a month. There are agendas and minutes to do. Twice. And twice. 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 twice for the planning board. Yeah. And there are minutes to do and agendas and all that. And the extra time, we thought, would be spent in the office organizing the files yeah. that are very much in arrears. But I haven't seen the, the, I mean, I get good vibes, but I don't see the cohesion yet because Brent is just brand new and she's taking over, you know. And I think it would be good. I don't mind, I wouldn't mind putting some money again in contingency. I, I was just about to go there to, you know, plan this out. But I don't want to commit to it now until I see yeah, a plan and an approach. So you see, I think I think we're seeing the plan and approach. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think we've been here long enough to see the plan and approach. Hold on, hold on, hold on, because the I have an idea. the um, 
schema that we came up with with Brogan was based on our experience. None of us having worked in the building department, and now we brought in Brenda, who is new here, but not new to the trade, so to speak, you know, the, having worked in planning offices before and knows what works and what doesn't. That expertise is part of what we're hiring. So if now, a month or two in, I'm hearing that we need to rearrange staff in a few more hours with a, a talented new hire, I think that's a serious, I think we should you know, take the consideration seriously. Whether well, we put it in contingency or just outright do it. I don't disagree, you know. Jason, but what I'm saying is we never had a planning board secretary and a ZBA secretary who, then, who in addition, we budgeted extra time for to be in the building department to start getting some of these files right. done. That is a new concept and is just being implemented. Right. I okay. have an idea. What's that? Um, cause, cause Sally, Sally, what you're saying is like, you know, you said you'd like to see a plan. So I think, I think maybe what we can do is come, is, is and maybe maybe you can do it with the department I, I, at a department meeting, which I think you would hand, right? Um, so maybe maybe that's something where you can sit down and come up with you know the five month, uh, the six month, the year long plan, um, you know, and have some timeline deadlines for some of what Sally's saying in terms of getting records in order. Um, and I think I would like to see somebody who is interfacing with the public more often, but maybe we can do this as part of it and, you know, have a review in, you know, maybe it's like quarterly, you know, you could have, the plan could be something that's quarterly and these are deadlines and when we, when you think about like what your department needs, you know, in the next, because it's been almost, it's been a full two months, almost, With me. month and a half. It's been a month. Yeah. So, if we if we get to the three month mark now and then you know do it again and again then maybe that would be I mean what do you think Sally I think that's okay that's very reasonable okay and then we can put it in we can put it in contingency I know I know you said she's looking at other part time jobs and I would not, would not want to lose her but I also mm -hmm. think we should make you know very rational and I I really think Brogan has a lot to offer I I'm just not I mean she's really good but I'm still seeing at CBA meetings. Where we don't have the history of things, you know, when, right. like before the planning board. A project comes up before the planning board. Um, you know, there's a project before the planning board that's coming to the ZBA that I'm not even sure should be at the ZBA given the zoning laws that Jason introduced last year and we all agreed upon and pass. And there's that kind of at cross purposes still. Mm. And I think we need sort of a written plan on how to get the whole thing coalesced. Okay, because I think somebody's got to tell the planning board, gee whiz, look at the back files. And just because I've changed the name of my property, I need to go back to the, the original name of the right. property and see what the history is. Well, well, we've got two months before this budget is even implemented, and in that time we could certainly look at this stuff and think about it more and we could put it in contingency. But Rebecca has something. Yes. Um, well, first of all, I think we should also ask Blue his opinion. I don't know if you've had the discussion with him. He, he's, he was off today and then, no, I have not talked to him about it. Okay. Because I think that would be my, a good idea for him because he, obviously he's been overseeing everything and is an, is aware of the different changes and definitely would be aware of the needs too. Right. And what I'm also thinking, because we have people, you know, basically the staff in that department are in and out of the building as we know, but also when we've got some people who work part-time, not everybody sees each other on a daily basis. And I think having a single person that they can all um, be in touch with and where that person on a day when someone who was there the day prior a different person is comes in the next day if, if there's anything um, outstanding you know any um, loose ends that need to be passed on to the next person it's much easier to do if you've got someone having the conversation with everyone in the department yes well that is I mean you are here every day and so certainly it's yes 
certainly I mean, Holly, has obviously, <laughs> Holly has obviously has the longevity in our department. She knows the history of things more than anybody else does. Oh, wow. um, yes. Yeah. But the challenge is um, is exactly what you just said, that we have three part-timers right now that work very different schedules. So mm -hmm. what we're doing is having the same conversation over and over again to bring everybody up to speed. Um, and absolutely, I agree that part of my job is is to be in the office and to be talking to the public. But I have another aspect of my job as well that um, isn't necessarily making 12 copies of um, something for a board and getting all that ready. And absolutely, Brogan's doing a great job with that, but she would be better utilized with more but additional I, hours. For example, they, what do we call it, Jason, the big... The thing Albatross. Huh? The plotter. <laughs> the, the thing <laughs> that you thought we should have. A Hyundai. Have. A Hyundai. Uh, no, the plotter. The, yeah, the, the, big, the big thing. Yeah. It's still sitting in the DPW garage. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's just... Is it, to well, my mind, a good use of Brenda hasn't, Brenda hasn't needed it yet, so we I, haven't. So I have uh, requested my computer program, yeah. and once I get my computer program, I can use the plotter button. But it still should program. be up here. It should not be sitting in the garage. I'm excited about it. I'm excited. So I think I think that's the kind of thing we need to get. Yeah. Well, Jason's also talking about moving those file cabinets out of there. Um, yeah. Which I'm not sure what stage, but basically, I I think what you were saying was for um, the clerk's office to clear up files. From in there? Yeah, I, what I was thinking is moving because we had that, that office downstairs next to Nancy, which when we finally get an IT person, we're going to stick them down there part time. But move all the files that are up here down there so that when we have time in the clerk's office or Ryan and stick him on it, get all the originals out. Make sure we don't, we have the one file cabinet originals. can't even be open and it has been locked for what, a year and a half? Nobody has a key for it. Well, we'll just call Ken Hasbrook and have him open okay. it. But Jason, Could I didn't have to call Ken Hasbrook. Well, I didn't know it was locked until just now. So I, well, I Nora told us that. that. And how long ago was well, Nora here? Nora should have made the key. Okay, and Nora went through all the files. Right. I think. Well, there's, a, there's just junk everywhere, is right. what I'm saying. So, we can make room in that office for the plotter. We, I mean, probably we can get rid of all this stuff because no one uses it anymore. Oh, CIT and Shade Tree use that file. Okay. The ones, right, the ones who do our use, obviously, we're not going to yeah. touch, but. You know, the ENCC one we can get rid of the, you know, just we can get rid of some of the clutter. That's and, all. And have room for... Right, but my point is, that was ready to be removed long before Brent even arrived. Oh, I know, I know. And now it's been so long that we don't know who... Who did what? Who did what. Well, Katie and I are going to, and you're all invited to join us, 10.30 tomorrow morning. We are claiming house. So that you can get rid of that chair back there. Since so that you can oversee the painting of this. I'm gonna oversee the painting. That, that I fell out of. Your yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah the broken one. Let's get rid of that. The pink one back there is broken. If you want to join us, 10:30 tomorrow. Burgundy, whatever color that is. Whatever. Okay. We're talking about uh, approximately 60 to 40. If you added eight hours okay. a week. That's not including fringe benefits, though. No. So are you sure it would require fringe benefits? Oh, Do we yes. know that? Yes? Three-quarter time certainly would. So anything under, anything 18.75 hours or less does not require benefits? I would go with 15, Jason would be on the safe side. Well, how much do we... No, uh, it's 18.75 because that's yeah, she's at 15 now. a lot of fun. Yeah. She's at 15 now. Yeah. yeah, so Ariana just found out that it's anything that's three quarter time or more, you have to offer benefits. So that's. Katie texted Nancy. Oh, Katie texted Nancy. So that means 18.75 18 hours a week or more. That's the threshold. Okay. Mm -hmm. For the moment, I. Not that benefits are necessarily something we should turn our nose up at, even for part time employees, because there are less benefits than. But for the moment, if it would resolve, I would be willing to go to 18 hours and see if that helps. What do you think about that? I'd have to talk to Brogan. Um, if she would take it, that would be something. Well, when she was originally hired, you two interviewed her, and she wanted a part-time job and not more than a certain number of hours. Hmm. Because that was your recommendation to the board. What if we just 
What if we did for her what we did for with Heather? A separate position. Secretary yeah. to the planner as well as secretary to the planning board. Give her another five hours for that. It's a separate position. Mm. There's a question whether or not that would then have to be a union job because of it, because it's come up as a conversation whether or not that's a union position. What it if it's not secretary? What if it's like an assistant? We have to ask Nancy. I think we're really not. No, well, these are all options. Mm. Yeah. Well, especially well, because I'm hearing that that is a lot of assistance to the plan with it. That we need as well as a planning board. I, I'm yeah. not opposed to this option, but I think for for tonight we should table this conversation. That's a good idea. Get a lot yeah. of our questions answered before and have the 26th. A written recommendation uh, and a plan. Well, well, she. I mean, she she did write to us for to mm -hmm. you know. No, no. But I want to know uh, right. hours being spent doing what. Okay. okay. Yeah. I think that's reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah. think we, and we need to get Blue's opinion yeah. as well as Nancy's. Brenda, why don't you, you, Blue, and I sit down this week? Okay. Because there, there may be other, um, other options on the table. We don't have evaluations from Blue. From Blue? Yeah. No, not yet. I'm supposed to get them. That's get why them I wanted Friday. to put everything in contingency, because there are a lot of outstanding evaluations that aren't done. Yeah. Sounds good. And yeah. what else? Well, there was something you. else, right, Brenda? Was it on the same email? Um, it might have been just a conversation we had. As far as budget is concerned, um, I can give you a couple other things that I wanted to, to play with. Did we have enough money in this year's budget to buy the GIS software we need? Yes, we okay. have money left over. Good. Um, and for next year's budget, the training for the building department is at 15, is tentatively at fifteen hundred. I'd like to double that because they didn't include me. Okay. And I've looked at AICP training and certification and if I can get into the test for this year, <clears throat> then um, this coming year I'll need to start required training. Which line is it? Um looking it's at 36. 36 Thank you. Uh, training, training, training. So it's right now at 1500 Yes. I'd like to double it. Add 1500 more, Jason. Under contractual expenses. Yeah. Does that the sound unreasonable to anyone? It sounds reasonable to me. And Each this is for? Training. Training. My training. Building the department. The 1500 was just for the building department without the planner. Um. I think, look, the more we can invest in training, the better. I think it's money well spent. Okay. Just a minute now. I, we have, we have not resolved anything in terms of increasing hours or no. We're no, tabling okay, that. We're yeah. tabling that. But this we are agreeing on. Fifteen. Any objections? Yeah, none. Not from me. Okay, no not hearing any. What else, Brenda? What do you need? I think that's it. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And you'll get us a. I'll give you a, a schedule of um, timelines and where hours will be spent and Jason and Blue and I will chat this week as well. Yeah. Jason, then we should go down to the vault. I'll have to go right now. Or I can wait. Or What's that? If you want me to go down to the vault, oh, now I have to go now. Um, no, unless someone really wants a village of New Paltz pin right now. Otherwise, we can put them in your mailbox. I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. take it tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Just stick them in the mailbox. I got five yeah. without it today. So how will anyone know you're on the village board? I did. You got right. I got passed. I got by today without it. Oh. Okay, you did. I, I think it's like that. wear one, carry one, trade them where you go. Thank we'll you. make you little oh, shadow yes. boxes. It's like Disney. Do we have enough money in for digital? I know we are applying for a grant, but I'm tired of hearing that we aren't digitalizing because we're waiting for a grant. Wait. And we have records that we have talked and talked and talked about getting our records. Digitized. Whenever Digitized. Ryan, whenever Ryan is in the clerk's office, that's what I have him do. And the volunteer from the high school who, um, who I have, who I get for 15 hours, that's what I have her doing is scanning records. And we've got and the deputy clerk was hired to do this. She, and she does a certain amount of scanning. Um, she does the more recent scanning, whereas in Ryan's doing things from the records. Right, so record. we have enough. The building department would love to be scanned in and, and digital as well. Yes, oh. we we have an intranet that I have been working with very hard. Okay. That I've been working very hard at uploading things to and getting this calendar up and running. Um, that's where hopefully a year from now you'll be able to sign on and see the historical records. 
Okay. So we've agreed that make sure we're all on the same page. Thank all you. salary increases are going into contingency. Employees who are with us less than a year, no salary increase. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we're we're going to move Nancy and Blue's stipend, the stipend itself, into contingency. So we're not taking anything out. Right. We're just putting it in a different place. Right. Um, we need to find down. out if the five additional street lights that we authorized are, in fact, in the budget. Um, <coughs> we want to know, and this is a new question, how much more do LED lights cost than what we have? And Katie said she will call Rosendale. Mm -hmm. Pardon, Katie. Katie said she will call Rosendale and, and find Katie out what they're doing. And Katie is checking on the election yeah. machine yeah. boss, and we're adding fifteen hundred dollars more for training in the building department. Mm -hmm. right. That's where we are, right? And just so we know, we don't have to go necessarily go through every page. Um, the water and sewer funds. Yeah. Um, we're not not calling for any increase in rates. Um, no, we're, we so we're, we should we should be good on the water and sewer yep. funds, yeah. Yep. So we took off care of all that and put that in a year ago. So what other earmarks do you um, have on here? Okay, you Street have admin. an A eight zero one zero. You have the there. ZBA attorney is showing as being on a retainer. She is not on a retainer. She is paid. Per diem as needed and not really? much. Victoria's, th Victoria is Victoria is not we have a retainer. retainer. With well, this is this was from the ZBA, so she is I not. didn't rate this. But, so it'd be because when we hire, so just her. cross out the retainer. Could be just monthly costs per month. Well, no, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have. But you were now. Where are we with executive session? Oh, in executive okay. session. Well, should, wait, about this, I mean, wouldn't Nancy Branco know how he, she, in this case, is being paid? Whether well, that's what you can see Nancy's handwriting is is the, the tiny one next to Brogan's. Nancy yeah. and I have been over this time. You have been, okay. Okay. And so I what, know what, what number should we have in there, whether it's retainer or... You changed... Oh, I'll look at the go. Yeah, it went from 4000 to 2000 you, That Those is for the also. planning board, and I have to say I think that is a mistake to reduce the planning board retainer down from 4000 to, to 2000 because this we go through every year. Oh, I know. And, and I still Maurice nothing. asked for 6000 you say 2000 and we, we end compromise up, on 4000 No, No, actually, we end up spending 2000 We end up spending what... Um, well, anyway, I, I, you know, I wasn't even going to have the argument with Maurice because uh, in three years I've been waiting for a good reason to have the amount we paid the planning board attorney triple, and I haven't seen one yet, is well, what it comes down to. <coughs> but it depends on what the board thinks. Well, I think... I lowered these down to what we actually spent over the past fiscal year. That's what these numbers... They're not arbitrary. So we spent about 2000 not rather than the 4000 that's... It was written in the budget. That's what we said last year, and then we got. So I think I'm going to ask that that be discussed in executive session. Okay. Um, okay. I have a question um, on celebrations. A7550. We have budgeted for a Johnny on the spot for the regatta. Yeah, we used to budget for two. I, I see that. Why are we budgeting for any? It's our contribution. That's what we no. said. No. no, you don't want one. Down no, by the. But not when the mayor is quoted in the paper as saying that the Walk Hill River is <laughs> a sewer. I don't think I would I'm not risk saying the I insurance go there, having a regatta. But certain people have seen swimming in the Walk Hill, so. Well, I'm yeah, and I got violently ill the day did you after. Really? Yeah, I've never projectile I, I, I vomited want to, in my life uh, like that. I want to make a very quick report on the uh, uh, tour of the uh, reservoirs and the re most recent report on Wallkill by our exploration team. Um, right now, 
you could swim in the wall kill if you could stand the cold. Yeah. But that one is warm enough. Uh, right now, the wall kill is uh, clean enough that it would take a very mm-hmm. uh, easy um, process to make it potable. Uh, our reservoirs are fantastic right now. They're, of course, covered with ice and there's no evaporation. <laughs> and they're absolutely full of beautiful, clear water <laughs> right now. So, uh, we Let's just stop. Let's just stop, stop, stop there. Just stop there. <laughs> so Nothing more. I don't want to hear what that is in summertime. <laughs> anyway. When the agricultural runoff starts coming, I think the fertilizer. The I'm, just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, right now. Yeah. So we say we, we don't want to pay for a, a porta potty? I, I think the regatta should be self sustaining like any other parade that we're making on events. I guess. Yeah, we don't contribute that to anything else. We don't? We don't no. contribute to anything? No. 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 No, but this is also the only thing that's not, um, doesn't end up near Village Hall or the park. Where we do have Johnny on the spots all all summer in Hasbro Park, and this one I think because I, I asked Blue because I know you don't need a certain number of bathrooms There's downtown. There's Water Street Market bathrooms. Mm-hmm. That's why this one goes bathrooms. this one goes down to the actual boat launch itself, so we don't have to walk all the way back to Water Street Market. But I'm in favor of keeping it in, but I, I don't, if there's a majority opposed, then it comes out. So Rebecca, what do you I I want to take it out. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, we, we con- our con- contribution is that we hold the funds in our trusted agency account and we spend time and resources from our departments to expend those funds. So I think that's a good, that's how the village contributes. Otherwise, why aren't we contributing to other events? And I hear what you're saying, but, you know, how we much, how much the Bonnie Door Dance Festival was downtown when 160 year. bucks. Yep. Yeah. It's not a huge amount of money, but it's the idea that we're, you know, we're contributing the Johnny on the Spot in the Hasbro Park because it's our park. Well, that's our park too. Right, but if, we, if we're going to do it, we should have it there all the time what? or none of the time. We were going to have the Ruderhoff built so. I'm, I'm more interested in having something there all the time yeah. than just the one specific event that we yeah. favor for some reason. The only, the only problem I would see with having something there all, all the time is the potential for vandalism. Totally well, and great. flooding and cleaning. Well, we were going to have a burglar alarm on it. That was his idea. <laughs> <laughs> a giant Klieg light comes on. Don't you don't use it properly. The alarm goes off. Everyone's trying to escape. <laughs> Well, so, uh, I, I, would, I agree with I you. I would keep it in though. I I, keep I'll it. keep. I'd rather keep it. One porta potty. I would. Keep I, it. Yeah, I'd also rather keep it in then there because I think you have to to do that for every single event. I don't. I don't. The think baseball so. association is far more a community event. That parade and they have an event down on oh, the playground. So. Provide the porta potty for them. Well, the thing is, is that for public events, and we learned this at the 125th, for public events, you don't need to have a restroom if the event is within X feet of a certain number of... So then why is it in? Because this event, the regatta, because it stretches from Main Street all the way down to Sojourner Park and back, is outside that radius. So we didn't need one for the 125th and from the post office parking lot because you had Water Street Market and the Gilded Otter and... Where are you Stasio. putting the porta potty? Because in Sojourner Truth Park, the where they actually put the boats in the water at the boat launch, the farthest point away from everything else. That's that was why Blue thought it was a good idea. But um, I, what, yeah. what's your opinion? You haven't said much. Um, yeah. yeah, the other thing, in in addition to, um, well, first of all, it's not a great deal of money. Um, it is our park, and if we were to turn to the committee and say you need to put it in, no, you know, I, I they've got the Gilded Otter, they've got Water Street Market, they've got a lot of access. But you also have people sitting around. It takes a while for the regatta to actually get off, and you have a lot of people down there, a lot of kids down there. Well, I'm hearing three people in favor and two opposed. So do we want to let it rest at that, or do you want to discuss more? I mean, I just, I just think, 
we really, you know, there are plenty of things that we can contribute to through the celebrations fund that I hear a lot more about than this. For instance, why don't we have decorations and lights in the winter time? This is like such a huge thing that I hear very regularly. And you know, we're not like I think I think that should be something that we can. I mean, I'm not saying it's one or the other. I'm just saying if we're putting things in the celebrations line. I think that's something that should go in the celebrations line. Well, um, I'm more I'm not as concerned about the porta potty as I am concerned about the village carrying the liability for the regatta, which I am absolutely opposed to. Yeah, me too. I do not think our insurance should be covering the regatta. I think if our insurance company knew <clears throat> they would be uh, displeased. If that's insurance Policies are not. But if that's insurance, is different than swimming. We in don't the carry the insurance. We do for a bonfire now, and we did for the 125th. Mm -hmm. But I do not think we should be doing for the regatta. Our parks are insured anyway, so anything that happens in the park or the rail trail is covered now. Just an FYI. I would like that. Right, but the, the regatta is in the river. That's the difference. I mean, I, I don't are really. Are we insured have for the, swimming? But you know, this is a separate conversation. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's a park like, use. I yeah, I, I would find that to be a I, I don't I know that I would be in favor of pro providing our insurance on a special basis right. for anything. Uh, but I find that to be significantly different from the issue of whether a single porta potty at a, uh, a a strategically, well, no, a tactically uh, <laughs> important place on a single day for a cost of $160. Uh, I, I, they're so fundamentally different in my point of view. They go together, yeah. That I don't want to mix them up. Yeah, the thing, also, the, um, the regatta committee has a notary there every year because people who are entering the regatta, if they're going to be on a boat, they sign a liability waiver that gets notarized. Oh, I don't think yeah. anybody can ever sign away their right for insurance if it is already provided. I don't think a, ni a, a notary See, liability. We should have had Nancy at this one. Yeah, we real that's a question for yeah. Nancy. Yeah, that's, that's that's a, and also, right, Ariana and Sal, you can see I actually had also flagged that in my copy too, and talk to Blue about it. So okay. you're not. It's not. I've, a, I've got it's it not unreasonable list. to object to it as well. I've got it on the list. So separate on um, celebrations. What do we think about adding some kind of winter decorations to this? Did you have a hey, price? Or I, I can answer that. No, call. I only I thought of it. Right CIT. Okay. Community improvement team. Yeah. We <clears throat> have switched over, and the village now does the hanging baskets in the summertime, which the town used to do. Okay. Okay. The town and the CIT are supposed to be doing the winter decorations. Okay. Okay. So we will put the pressure there. Oh, good. All right. All right. What else is because on your guys' list? That was the deal that we agreed to and one side of the aisle. And I don't know whether it was the CIT yeah. failing to tell the town or what, but that will be straightened out. Okay. Um, I think those are all my notes. Do we have a recommended grant writer? Because I'm not going to budget money for a grant writer if we don't have I somebody. Was using, in my mind, we're using Mark Lauer by default. I thought he wouldn't do the uh, kind of no. grant writing we wanted. At, at a certain point <laughs> of the year, that's absolutely true. Because remember the whole CFA, the consolidated funding application came up where all these grants are due all at the same time now? Right. That's what we ran into some problem because we have, Mark has to work on our water and sewer, the big items, so he doesn't have time to do the park stuff. But, when, but that's once a year. Yeah. But the rotating we stuff. The discussion or about the Safe Street grant. Yep. And that, you and I were really hot and that, on that. And that's part of the CFA. But here's the thing. If we have grant, if we have grant money now to have Mark, for example, to pay him to research what grants are out there, we could then, if it's in the CFA process, farm it out to somebody else. But we've got a grant writer we can trust who's you know impeccably honest and, and brutally honest with us. That, that's what I was thinking. Is that your recommendation? That's my recommendation. But that's my personal recommendation. But more importantly, because I don't want your personal no, recommendation. There may, be, your recommendation. there may be somebody else out there who's as good as Mark, who's, who's not, who doesn't do that kind of grant. I, I don't know enough grant writers. But I figured, I talked to Mark and to Nancy about um, 
Well, Nancy about how much, like I asked Mark, how much it would have cost him to, to prepare like a smaller grant, like a $50,000 parks grant, and he was saying like, you know, maybe $1,000 for the package or something like that. Well, we so, to interview somebody with Nancy? We don't have a position, though. We don't have a, we, this is just a... Uh, we do have a position. We have $5,000 in the current no, year. we've got budget. a budget line. It's, we don't have yeah. like a, a position position like we interview and hire for. No, no. You're missing my point. Okay. We budgeted first year... Five thousand dollars for a grant writer. We did it again. Yeah, and I want for a grant writer. We've never matched the person to the grant. Nancy sent us, and I think you wanted to be an audit too. She was going. We had that proposal, and we were going to all meet with that grant writing team. Is that what I call it? But nothing has come of no. that yet. I can only think of two grant writers I know. No, no, Nancy has this. This is a list? Okay. What was it called, Rebecca? And Ariana, you said you wanted to be an audit too. Well, it she wouldn't was be a going bad to idea. invite this group who does grant writing. You had a question, she answered it. Yes to whatever it was. And then she said, when they come, who wants to be a part of meeting them? And I think you did, and you did, and I did. Oh, 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 oh. Um, but we haven't heard anything yet. Yes, yes, I know what you're talking about. I, I cannot remember the name of the group. No, I can't either. Um, but I know exactly what you're talking about. The three of us Steve, said Steve we Dennis would be interested. It's not Kamiko, is that? I, I don't think it was a person. It was No, it was a, like oh. a group. Well, regardless. It's not a bad idea to clarify this and maybe get it in a. So, are you position. recommending that you will go out and get a grant writer for us, and we will budget fifteen thousand dollars? I'm I'm suggesting we budget fifteen thousand. We use Mark for what we can, and for what we can't, we at this parallel track. I want to find somebody. Okay, but we have somebody, but they're just not around the whole year. So we need we need a backup person. Jason, I don't care whether they're this month, next month, three months from now, I would love for the village to get some grants for things like safe streets. Right. And that's what this and that's what this is that's what this fifteen grand okay. would be for would be for right. the but I don't want to see here next money. year talking about this again. We got I want to do it from Mark uh, uh, about what uh, amount of time and I think that's a good idea. In the course of the year. But I do, I like money. the idea, I like the idea of getting other grant writers too. Because yeah, Mark I mean, that's what we thing. really right. need. And we know that Mark is really good at, at what we use him for now. But Mark says he doesn't do small grants. He's told us that. And he doesn't do things like parks and, you know, environment. He doesn't do some categories. Yeah, and there it's are not, categories he does not he do. He does do small ones, but he has, he's an expert at certain things. Right. And so that's all it is. Ask, I know he's. But we'll have fifteen minutes to spend on somebody else. Let, let's, but let's, grant writers tend to know each other. Well, let's get him tell to tell us when? what he does do, what he will commit to, and when. And when. That's a good. And idea. then let's go find some other person who does the other stuff. Because then we but can plan. We can plan that. our work. Because yeah. then, if we know that Mark's available spring and summer, and he's, yeah. we can say, okay, but guys, now, think. Corollary to that: good grant writers know other good grant writers. Right. Okay. He may know some people. I was, I was a pretty good grant writer. Some people. I, I can talk to... Um, Bosey's has some good yes. grant writers. Oh, yeah. We have really good grant yes. writers. Yes, that's where Would I'm you going get to go. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. So I, I didn't hear yeah. you just send about the 50 there. grand. I, I, I'm, I'm okay with that. The price tag is okay. We just got to figure out who we would, who we want to how best to use the money. Is that what yeah, we're Yeah, because the return yes. on investment okay. tends right. to exactly. be if you have the right people in place. The return on investment is going to be very significant. Yes, yeah, but you have to get the people. You have to have the right people, or you're throwing it. Hey, well, you have got, and we've got at this point any people. <laughs> we've got three months until the end of the fiscal right. year, and right. so this money okay. will kick so in. Let's, let's, so let's. So we agree. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad about that because that was a, that was a good is increase. Executive session. Eric okay. Brock may also know. Oh, Eric, actually, Eric may might be able to write Maybe some. do them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, two things. First, I want to go to the fire department. What number? Uh, just the whole thing. No, I'm just... just the, oh. the number on the sheet? I'm asking... Yeah. It's, uh, has, the, has the budget been reviewed with the fire department? Yes. Oh, they, yeah. Okay. It's their budget. 3310. Yeah. I'm sorry, not 3310. The one they after 3410. It's gone up. It's gone down. No, it hasn't. About 40,000. What's gone down 
is when you put in the debt and the reserves and the, the uh, awards, so, that total has yeah. gone down. But from budget to budget, operating has gone up. And what I would like to suggest is, are we serious, Rebecca, about wanting a new truck? Are we going to try to do that? Then I would like to have the fire department review their budget in light of their desire for a new truck and get some money out of that budget. That's my suggestion. Because that's a major expenditure and yes, we're going to bond it and all that, but you right. know the more money you can put up front to pay for something, the less debt you have on it. Right. So I would like, if they are serious about it, and I certainly support it and I support all of your hard work Rebecca, on this, I think they have to get something, they have to make some major cuts in there. Well, what do we think about the, the truck that might be up in you know, Well, that's why I asked Rebecca. Yeah. I mean, I'm willing to commit to that. Right. But I am not going to commit to it if they're not going to. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Reduce you're willing their to budget. commit to the, the truck in May before yeah. this budget. Well, we're going to start the process in May. Right. 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 right? I guess it would come out yeah. of this budget. But I think but. they need to reduce their budget if we're going to make the commitment to help them get the new truck. I, I don't think, think we can continue to. I mean, huh? you, this, yes, I agree with that, except maybe I'm, I'm, I'm skimming this too quickly. I don't see anything where large increases were offset. I'm just looking, I'm just seeing a, a $40,000 less operating budget this year than last. That's including the reserves and, and all of the... The debt payment is the go, same, the service award. Where's this the debt? Here. Where's the... Uh, Jason. What, what, you, what number you, am I looking at? Use your green I'm looking at 3410. Now, don't, you can't look at that. You can't look at that. No, because that includes reserve fund your contributions. Awards, the reserve you carry over, the res you know, all that stuff. What you have to look at is budget to budget expenditure report. And but what other fund besides the reserve fire, fund that they use? When you go to the fire, the original budget for this year that it was adopted by the board is 421,629. Okay? The budget that you show there, your worksheets, mm -hmm. incorporate things like the reserves and all of that kind of stuff, the okay. awards. That that's in a different category. Yeah. So I try to compare budget to budget, this budget, and it's about thirty seven thousand increase. Okay. Which and they're what? offsetting with more reserve. Hmm? Which they're offsetting with more reserve. What, what I want them to do is get the money <clears throat> cut out of there if we're gonna buy the new truck. Okay. Rebecca, what do you mm -hmm. think you lose, huh? Yeah, I'll talk to them. I'm, okay. I'm trying to meet with them this week anyway. Okay. Outside of their regular meeting. Now, this is with the understanding that I am supporting what Rebecca is asking and recommending and for the future, and that is this new truck. So, I mean, if, no, if nobody agrees with me, then I'm not going to go that way. I'm saying if we agree... Oh, I definitely think we need the new truck. I do, too. And and we're we're, we're going to need two more in the next few years of the real So, summer. So what I want to do is offset. If, if we're going to go, and I'm committed to go that mm -hmm. way. So, you know, what you recommend to come up with. And right. Between Will Frank and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm supporting that. But it's with the understanding that there must be so reductions. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we agree on that. Everybody you probably mean not so much deductions, but a, a different line pay for that truck. Where where they reduce well, the what current I line. Do is I want to. The more we can pay. Mm -hmm. Jason wants a new truck. It's going to cost sixty thousand. I understand. Budget over here. Mm -hmm. I have ten thousand. I can pay the. But if I can pay thirty thousand, right. that's what I want to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Jason, I get it now. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tom, Tom is done with his notes, and so it's bit, and Rebecca and I, these are our notes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ariana um, and Sally, what else you got? I'm still going. No, I'm, I see your sheet. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I think my, my a lot of my stuff needs to be done in an executive session. Okay. Okay. I know in his worksheets he attached the big belly recycling. I mean, we really should do this. Oh, the, the okay. solar compactor. It's because expensive. I would what line? Do you have the line? The I number? recommend we cut um, 8160. Rubbish and refuse. Yeah. What I want to do, it's garbage and refuse. Um, take the $4,000 out of trash cans. We budget every year $4,000 for trash cans. This year, we're going to buy one big belly with that 4000 We're going to buy a second big belly and possibly two more big bellies. So we'll end up with three. Because right now, we are paying overtime on weekends to two employees for 15 minutes. But the way our contract goes, it's two hours mm -hmm. per person, OK, just to empty garbage cans. If we had. It, first of all, it would set a tone in the community because I think if you see it's easy to recycle and easy to throw your garbage and that compacts on top of it, you're only emptying it once a week instead of... But it's only one bin once a week out of 30 or so. What do you mean? If they're only... If I'm paying for two hours overtime <clears throat> every weekend for 52 weeks right. to empty one trash can, I am really upset. Oh, I see your point. All right, let's say, because I'm, <laughs> look, I'm looking, at, I'm looking at the numbers here. So let's say you want the the trash compactor. Yep. You then, want the two bed. But there's two, two different there's two different versions. For 4,240, you can get the trash compactor with the fullness sensing receptacle. Yeah. For three grand, you get the, the double recycling right. garbage. That has no compactor, just senses when it's full. This seems like right. a huge waste of money. So we would go for this, which is about the cost of replacing a couple of bins. Mm -hmm. Say the obvious place to put this is down by the paddock a lot. I want to do three. Hold on, let me hear me. Just walk walk me through this, or let me right. walk through this. So we have this double bin, one for a and one for garbage. We put it down by the kiosk, right by Ariel Books or. Um, Whatever it's called. Yeah, I know where it is. The municipal yeah. lot near there. <laughs> um, back down by Riverside and thesis. Um, but so we've now got two, four, six containers there, or four, four or six containers there. So this replaces two in one of those heavily used areas for four grand. It doesn't affect our, our pay at all. Yes, it does. Because now you're doing 28 cans instead of 30. No. And you're still doing this one just maybe every other week. No. What am I missing? You're missing. We're not going to do over. We're not going to do weekend pickup at all because the major pickup is Main Street. But we can't afford so to do unless you're I thinking you're spending can. eighty thousand no, dollars. No. You can't afford to do all no, of Main no, Street. No, no, this is an experiment. Okay. To be wrong, I would put one at <clears throat> Main in Platic Hill. Mm -hmm. One, and this is up to Blue because I mean he knows better than I. He knows where to go. Yeah. I had suggested Maine and Platicill, Chestnut and Maine, and near the bakery, that area, which is a lot of gold. Say, well, just say okay. three places. So three. Wherever they are. The There's three. other, yeah. I believe. So $12,000. Yep. One of those 12, one of the 4,000 is going to replace the garbage cans that are in the budget and we don't need. One is going to be replaced by overtime that we are expending on weekends. But I don't understand how buying better garbage cans means they don't need to be emptied anymore. No. These get compressed, so they don't, they they don't, don't have get. To. Right, but not as often. But what, They can be emptied during the regular work week when garbage cans are emptied. Instead of asking people to come in special, but we still have to have them come in for all the non new ones we buy. I don't think I'd, I'd like to try. They're to very. See. It's very. Let's see. Let's talk to talk to Blue I because. Did. Okay, because Blue doesn't 
having walked down streets on a Saturday afternoon and seeing everything outside the pizza place and outside this show. People will use, I believe people will use these if we make them available. Oh, sure. Rhinebeck has had tremendous success hmm. with them. Did they, tremendous did they replace all of theirs all at once? Do no. You know? They swapped they it out? Staggered. And they, I don't know how many they began with, but they did begin staggered to just see if it would work. And then the next year they increased them, mm -hmm. and they have a much bigger area to cover than the village of Newport does. Why don't we spend the five thousand dollar one and get the one that can do compost, recycling, and grass? I don't think you would need composting. I think the two, and I would like to recommend we get three of them this year. It did this year. Can I ask how much we're now spending on overtime? What is it that we seventy five thousand? Dollars on personnel for garbage and refuse. But that's outage. total. That's total, right? That's I can't say that Forty-five thousand three hundred and forty dollars. And Jason, mm -hmm. some of that is contractual to outside. Yeah, the guy who for a second. So, but okay. how much are we spending like for the overtime that we would be saving? Multiply fifty-two times forty dollars. Times two. Okay. So 104 times 40. 52. So that's four. 40. Zero eight. Two thousand eight. So four thousand. So it is four thousand sixty dollars. Yeah. That's one. That's what he said. One more. Big double. So we would not spend the money on the uh, the bins, the new bins, the four thousand in the tentative budget for new bins. We would not spend the overtime. We would therefore cover two of and these. And we, I bins, don't know how much we, we pay for outside contractors, but I'll bet you it's at least a quarter of the $26,000 for outside contractors. What, what is the outside contractor that you're thinking? They collect garbage. Is this the, the weekend? Um, Jason, the outside garbage contractor, is that weekends or during the week? We, we hire him to pick up all the recycling Anyways, all the rusting I'm ugly bins is, on Main Street. Oh, okay. I don't want to increase our budget. I would like to recommend... You think it'll be a wash? Hmm? You think it'll be a wash? Yeah. I have a question. And it will be a savings, Jason, from now at Infinite. Yeah, I mean, so what's the life cycle on I these would things? like to propose that we get three of them and let Blue figure out where he wants to take the money from. I, th I think I, I, it can be found. Oh, of course. Yeah. It's it's all in the... I couldn't remember if so I got added in the packet. It's in the packet. And I would recommend... I, I have a question. The campus has these, right? Yeah. yeah. Have we talked to them? Yes, and John recommended. That's how I John it. Shoup said yeah. that they're good. Yeah. John John McEnroe was who Oh, that John McEnroe was who you talked to. Okay. Um, That's how I got the name of the company. So, so he, he does not think. Did he give you any numbers for what on uh, waste reduction or anything? Yes. Show it, proving that we get enough sun they, to make that I work. In, when they had trash cans, they reduced garbage pickup and reduction. <laughs> hmm. Now, that may be, I don't want to make that promise because it, it's a different environment and it's a different population. But what I'd like is for us to try three Big Belly, the, com, the, the two bin compactor one, Jason, mm -hmm. and let Blue figure out. I think we will. Did you do the math on, on adding in all of the overtime and the recycling contractor? The overtime see, is. Wait, to see if we could afford to do all of them all at once? Oh, all of Main Street. I didn't even ask. I didn't because if we're if we're spending twelve grand for three, and that doesn't really reduce, because we still got to pay the recycling guy to come out, and we still got to pay the DBO to come out on weekends for the non-new ones. Only, but you're only going to play the recycling guy probably once a week as opposed to. But what, that depends on how much three recycling. You know, so I'm just wondering if we can get rid of the recycling guy, get rid of all of the overtime, could we afford to do all of Main Street? 
I don't know. That's a question for Blue. Yeah. And I don't think we'll, we would have we'll to ask him. How much Could you make a note to for? check with Blue about that? Thanks, Kitty. My, my quick, you know, off the cuff calculation of what you're recommending sounds uh, suggests to me that it's going to cost us at least up front forty-five, sixty. No. If we buy three. If you buy three, that's what I thought. But you see, the recycling guy is separate I don't, from our I don't, that's overtime what I'm that's what, All I can calculate is what I can calculate. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm reducing the twelve seven twenty that it would cost for three by four thousand dollars, which we would that's not spend on hands. bins, and got, the forty one sixty mm -hmm. that we would spend on. Uh, Two times fifty-two right. times forty, and then you have so the, four thousand dollars, I believe, for the recycling man. That I don't know. So I didn't know well, but, you're not going to. We know. can't reduce the overtime on. But that for this. what Jason is asking a different question, and he is asking. See, I'm. I was only suggesting three. Jason is saying, I is it possible that we could do all yeah. of it? And how many do you think we would need then? Twelve. I have to count. There's one by the Otter, one right. by Water Street Market, one by... Post Office. Uh, the Post Office. There's two by the Post Office. Okay, that's cool. There's one outside of, near some somewhere near Snugs and... Uh, and Main Street Bistro. Main Street Bistro, Gourmet Pizza, there's two, I believe. There's one up up by um, Shea O'Brien's. Shea O'Brien's, but there's also the one by PNG's, so that's And then 10. down on North Front by Handmade. 11, and then the three or four on Platinum Gill is 15. Municipal We're probably looking at 20, to be conservative. You think that many? Well, if we just counted 15, and yeah. we missed two or three, and then just to be conservative. T replacing 20, and that's just garbage. That's not the recycling base. No, that's everything. No, no, that's 20 garbage cans. Oh, oh. Plus, right. on top of that, you have the you, recycling Then you bins. have the 20 recycling cans. Or, and, but there's, they're, they're not always one-to-one -one matched oh, up. Oh, they aren't matched. No. no. Right, recycling. but this, but if we were buying the double unit... Then you have it match up, right? Yeah. Right, but so you get rid of all the recycling. I'm not, I'm not into compacting recycling because that just promotes single stream and not recycling. We only have single stream in Ulster County, though. The advantage of compacting the area right. is you don't have to empty it as often. Right, but then I I, un I understand that. Ah, I thought you did. <laughs> but but if we so I, when you, take when you crush big, glass, and, glass and cardboard together, the glass gets all inside the cardboard. And I asked John, John that, and he said that that wasn't an issue. And I I because I thought it maybe was too. I mean, Tim went to the facilities that are separating this, and there's like a guy in there separating all this stuff by hand, and. You better be certain he is not picking out <laughs> tiny shards of glass for. from cardboard. When they they have a big, what I would call a fan, but it's not a fan. Well, I guess you know what the trucks compacted anyway, though, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. And maybe it's just it's got it's yeah. a function of the pressure. So I don't think that if you don't have it compressed to pressure enough to crush a glass bottle, it won't crush the glass. Unless someone's putting in broken glass up. All right. I don't know. So I, the the thing is, is, I've heard mixed reviews about these things. I've heard they're an environmental scam. I've also heard they're great. So I think, and, and I've done a little bit of research. I have here. I was just looking at it again. Um, there's a benefit-cost analysis of Big Belly Solar Trash Compactors in the city of Seattle Parks. It was done by Washington University. Um, you know, I think I think we should all read through these kinds of things before we make a decision because what if there's something that's similar but better or a different way of doing this? And I mean, I put this in the budget as I was asked to do to make my recommendation. Lou had it as part of the working budget. I don't think he actually included it into his budget. Mm -hmm. That is what we're discussing. So we have, but we have a couple of questions. Right, but so, that's all, yeah, right? so that's yeah. what I'm thinking. And Maybe the big question is whether we Wait, hold on, do Ariana was once. still. No, yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, because we, you know, say we move forward with some kind of contract with one private hauler, and like you suggested, and I think that was a good suggestion, the cost of picking up our our public like uh, waste and recycling becomes rolled into that cost. So then we're not in a position where we are paying anybody overtime or anybody at all. 
if they're picking it up at no additional cost. And, and I don't know what our we're not ready there for that. We're, we're not, but we're not far from it either. There's not a lot that goes into it, but putting out an RFP. I still think even if we went to municipal. No, 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 not, mu not municipal waste hauling, contracting with private waste hauling. Well, but for But it's whole, different. But Two species the of the same animal. Huh? Whatever. I think we're semantic. My point no, is, no, no, but it's not semantics because we're not doing it ourselves as a municipality. No, you're missing my point. It's still, whether we use a private person, a contract for the whole municipal, okay? It still would be beneficial in terms of the way people approach, okay, to have the big belts, I think. I think that would lead to more respect for the community. I think when, I mean, we all go into other communities, okay? I'm sure we all can say which communities appear to take pride in themselves and which don't, or might suggest, right. okay, there's- And I think having, better, why, having why nicer there? looking bins is a bonus. I don't know if these are the right no. ones. Well, because they also do not promote composting and then you have food do, rotting do for composting. We do, I just don't recommend it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be recommending that as an experiment yet either. But uh, I like your original idea of having a few of them and try it and trying it out without uh, compacting to all of them. without compacting any food stuff. Well, why don't if we're going to buy a couple, why don't we buy well, one composting one as as part of the experiment and put it by the Claddock Eleven lot where we have like five garbage. I know because composting comes with significant education and nobody's going to do it's that. It's an all or nothing kind of thing. Yeah. I don't think they're going to look to see. Nobody's going to say, "Oh, like, this." Well. Well, maybe maybe two out of five people will say, "Oh, I'm going to compost in this one," and then the rest of the people put their regular right. garbage, and then it I doesn't think matter. Later on, if we thought it would work, then to educate first. Right. right. Absolutely. And Education is a huge piece of implementing compost. Okay. Look, you know, this kind of stuff is is working even in airports, where people are dashing from place to place. Uh, I happen to spend a fair amount of time in airports lately. I've seen them in. Uh, and. It, I, from what I can see, to they tend to work. That is, people are careful about what they, they do put on there. campus. I'm amazed. So I would try. Campus has I think huge this is issues idea. with who puts what in what container. Mm -hmm. This is the, one of the biggest issues with how, with whether or not recycling is at all implemented on campus, and certainly with composting. This, it's, oh, the composting is a problem. Well, but recycling is a problem. The only, like it works when there's like. A slot that thin that you put paper in, like then nothing but paper or small things Wait, go in there. Yeah, like we're getting way off. Well, well we, we're kind of getting off, but we're we're saying you know whether or not. I mean, I, I I don't know if I like the idea that we're gonna have food that's compacted and sitting there and rotting for I a would, longer I period would not of time. See that. Right, but it's not about composting. It's about any garbage container, food products and wastes go in there. Well, you know, so it will be sitting there longer. You can't have it both ways, Ariana, and you have to make a decision. I think to try something and not reject it because I'm not want. rejecting it. I'm saying that we should all read the research that I I've done. That. I will read that. And can you provide we should, it to us. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, it's easy. I can email you I, all this. Right I now. will read it. Me too. But Jason, do you, you, yeah. you think we ought to go with all of them and try that, or try I think, the experiment? How about this? Step? Assuming Ariana's cost-benefit research shows that this is a, a positive, then I think that, if possible, we should replace all of them all at once. But I, that's, I don't just think that's, that's just that's just that's just algebra. That's just a matter of what the cost-benefit to Blue's budget is. That's all. I'm not saying we blow the bank on this. I'm saying I if we save a little to do a few, and we could save five a figures doing do. all of them, yeah. or the payback period is a two-year to two year payback, or what, you know, something like that. I think the pay, if, what I'm proposing, the payback, is immediate. 
Right. Okay. And a two to three exactly. year payback, a two to three year payback may be worth replacing everything all at once. Is yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, but but I do I well, did I work that. Back next, I would do that Jason. next year. Jason, I did work it for the three, and the payback is immediate. Okay. I don't know about doing all of them because well, I hadn't thought of that. Katie, you've got that down as a question for Blue. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Next. All right. So, what are we doing? Are we going to tentatively add three big belly unless your research shows that we're fools? Yeah. It doesn't take research to show them, sir. Wait. Uh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> I thought I'd put it in the positive. <laughs> um, do, well, why don't we add it in? Why don't we add it in tentatively? That way it's always easier to take something else I'm, out. I'm okay with game. that. I'm not like against, I'm okay. far from but against doing this. Trash I've trash. just heard mixed reviews. We're just reviews. waiting for you to get to your, uh, I just know heard you're mixed reviews, so I think that everybody okay, should think about yeah. this. I'm, I'm not against it by any means. So let's, my, that, my knee jerk reaction well, is hands. yes, I want to do this. I just like to double is it, okay, but is it is it okay is it okay to add it into the budget now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Or, okay, I don't know if you want to be more careful and wait in, until we hear. No, because we can remove it. Yeah, I think we should just put it in. Right. We're taking pounds. Big belly. Oh, I, I, Four but thousand. It's, but it's the smart. Over time. It's the smart belly, yes, not I the see. normal yes, belly. And four thousand out of recycling contracting. So Smart. we paid for it. Okay, and Blue is fine with those numbers? You talked to him? I don't know. Well, right, we'll five, check. Four, I, we'll he check. never said whether we'll he check. was... He, I, don't, okay. I don't think Blue wants to change his ways. Blue does not like change. We Blue all know this. Blue does not like change. We all know this. Can we be kind and say that? Yeah, oh, yeah. No, he laughs about it. He jokes about it. But this, I think, is very important for this community to do. So. Okay, so... Over time. What other notes do people Crash, have? I have, an, I have some more. You have some more? Believe it or not. She's got two more pages. I, I did what I was two more pages to know to do? No. Oh. I do. <laughs> I, I have one. I'm going to get this one. Right. Yeah, you do yours. I, right, I don't know the answer mind. to this because what I want us to implement the parking doesn't matter what Bobby does. I want to move the machine this year, if we can, to the center. Of the of the municipal lot, so people don't have to get out of their cars, find the machine, and then increase it to four hours. And I sent Lou an email asking him, did he think we could get this done before this year ended? Because it would come out. It's in the budget for this year. Oh. Okay. Can we get it done this year? We already decided. That's what I want to find out. If we can get it done this year, I want to do it this year. Well, you've got that note now, Katie. Oh, she just <laughs> but I sent him an email and he If it's in his budget year, then I imagine he's not someone who usually hmm? he doesn't usually drag his feet on things. Well, like yeah, but he's got a lot. But it is something new, and he doesn't like change. So. Oh no, no, he knows about this. He I'm he was kidding. in on it when Ariana and I met with him about the parking plan. This is one the next step in the parking plan. I yeah. bet he wouldn't have any. But it's a question of whether we can get it done in this budget year. That I have no if we have the money budgeted, then yeah. We have the money budgeted. And what's, I don't see what the issue is. Well, I don't know what prep work. Running out of time. I don't know what prep work there is to get done. I don't want to ask. He I don't know whether he has to have no the company way, come and do it. There's no I, way he could do it for another few weeks anyway, because the ground, it's not, it's not warm enough to, to no, asphalt work. We. No one's machine, making asphalt anymore. So to speak. Yeah. I don't know whether the company that put it in has to move it no. or whether we can make move a note. it. Yes. They're um, logistical issues. Yeah. And to so make sure that make that sure question. that Blue can get the, the parking thing he has an email in Platic Hill lot done this in this fiscal year. And he's supposed to answer that to me, Katie. Whether we can do it in this budget, get it done in this budget year. And just this have him copy budget. the whole board since it was brought up. Yeah, everybody. All right, what's your, um, let's um, get um, through um, your list, um. Sally. Oh, I am not in favor. Now, you and, and try to use bu budget codes if you know. 3620. If you want to use the money to increase Brogan, that's fine with me, but I do not think the Brogan Department should have a vehicle. Yeah, I've got a note for, and a question mark for that. What do you remember about that conversation, Rebecca? 
Wait, um, I'm sorry. Say this again. I'm sorry. 3620. Vehicle. They proposed to have um, a building apartment, a village sedan, basically, that would be no one would take it home, but when they were here to use for inspections and travel and such. Like and that. what we had said, which we have not implemented, was they were supposed to walk. So they do walk. They do walk right. within. They do walk. Then I would think any mileage that we would pay them to go to the peripheral out of our walking scheme. But remember too, even if you're walking within a mile, it takes about 20 minutes to walk a mile. 20 minutes there and back, that's 40 minutes. That's a whole other inspection you could have gotten done in that work day. I'm so, not in favor of supplying them a vehicle. I think that's okay. wrong. Well, I don't think it's wrong, like morally wrong. It could be I not a good idea for us. Be better used. What do the rest of you think? Well, I'm looking at the, uh, is this projected cost realistic? I have no looking at um, Looking at state bid, but also at um, other municipalities that have vehicles they get, getting rid of, like a lot of police departments, because they have to keep their vehicles in really like a, a new year because they've got to be using them all the time. Uh, the town clerk has, has, a, has a town car, not a town no. car. No. Oh, no? Well, they used to, yeah, but it was it was an old police department car that they they put, like when we get rid of our trucks, we put them out to bid. Yeah, you can just put a sealed envelope. I'll pay you this much for it, and you find an old uh, truck car like that. That's good they for lease good for bombing around town here, but not good for. I, I'm seeing this, this as a, as a lease. Uh, yeah, it is at 150 dollars a month. Is we that real? Yeah. Mileage. I think that was just their guess about what they were looking to get. That's their best estimate. And but I may be forgetting guess. something. That's not gas. No? Or anything else. Right. Yeah, they would have to have a um, expense line. Okay, but so of the that aside, philosophically, if it's a no-go, then it doesn't matter the numbers. Is this a useful use of taxpayer money? I mean, it's not like we'd be the first to do it. Lots of communities do this kind of thing. Um, you know, I, I, I'm a personal. person who worked for the state for a long period of time. Not even just New York State. I've worked for several states. And I had a car at my disposal. Or I used a car that was at a, a pool. Yeah, from a pool. So I found it to be useful. Uh, at the same time, I'm a person who always lived close to where I worked, so I walked most right. of the time. But I still mm -hmm. use the car some of the yeah. time. You got to go to a meeting. But, you have to go to a meeting. but this isn't going to be something that would transport people to and from work. It would be no. while they're at work. Yes. Yeah, so this would right. be getting someone from here to Montague View and back. Montague view. view. I mean, I think for. For the amount of time that they that people spend walking, the employees spend walking, versus the amount of time that they would have to go there, it doesn't seem worth it. How many inspections a year? Uh, well, that's the other thing. Does the team I mean, do? If well, <coughs> once doing. told me that if if there were no no vacation days taken and no six time taken and and well at the time we had a full time building inspector he said we would have to do 4.5 rental inspections per day to do all of them mm -hmm. i don't i i could do some quick and we sometimes do we sometimes do more than that because ben miller i'm sure says, we do more than that i'm ben just miller. saying you know if it was average every day but Ariane, do you remember ben miller sitting in our committee meeting I think he said it took an hour for that whole complex to be done. Right. Well, but, but, but we weren't talking about the amount of time each one takes. We were talking about if they were spaced out evenly over yeah, those days. Yeah, you spread it out like butter. Um, oh. 4.5 times 5 times 52 is 1,170. So that doesn't include the federal holidays, for instance. For example. Um, but so, you know, even if we rounded down to a conservative 1,000, um, that would be the number of inspections a year. Uh, just see, to, as a footnote to all of this, uh, they did budget for $500 in fuel. It's just on the back page. I, don't I see that. Okay. And I, I'm trying to see, I don't see the mileage. I guess they wouldn't put both in. 
I'm curious what right. we pay in mileage now. I need to find it. I don't think it's on here because I put the vehicle instead of the mileage. Well, most places are now budgeting about 55 cents. Uh, more than that. I think it's up to 58. 56. 58 now? Yeah. 58. So, yeah. That's why it's going to be cheaper for me to fly to LA than to get to DC, than to drive to DC. Yeah. Sally, do you see it on those other sheets? You the, know what? The yellow. Hey, Katie. The green? I'm looking at the federal. Um, oh, no, not the re reimbursement rate. Could you just make a note to get um, last year's mileage expense expenses from the building department? Sure. Um, it's currently 55, 56 cents. Right, 56 cents. But the total yes. amount budgeted is really I'm sorry, you penny off. <laughs> I pay it down. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm surprised, actually, because my memory would have been. I remembered it. I remembered it accurately, but entirely by accident. <laughs> so, well, can we table I this until we get the mileage? Then, until let's see, apples I would to apples. I'd be very surprised if the mileage that they claim would be exceeds twenty eight hundred dollars. I would be surprised too, but let's see what the number is. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the number looks yeah. like. Because <clears throat> we're ne we'll, we'll really only have a handful of topics to to discuss at the next meeting. Uh, and I guess I'll probably have Blue and Nancy there. Yeah, too. Sally's. What's your next, Sally? Unless uh, it's um, time to take a break. No, I think I'm, I'm to the questions that aren't mine, but more. We have the money for the generator already because mm -hmm. we bonded for it. But if, and this, Rebecca, close your ears, Ariana, close your ears. <laughs> Um, if do we need money if we are seriously considering converting to gasoline to natural I mean, gas? I can't remember. I remember the the, yeah, buy, the payback was four to five years. I don't remember no, but if there was anything in the budget. Money Nancy the budget or Nancy, for that. I can't call you anything but your real name, Katie. <laughs> Just make another question to to kick to blue. Okay. Is that money in this year's All in right. the in the thirteen fourteen fiscal year budget? And you asked me to remind you. Did he budget any money for finishing the energy audit recommendations? Well, that was my question. There was 4200 for window replacements in the DPW garage. Yes, and I was it. wondering if those were, were Bo's windows. Yeah, but yes, that's, that's part of the firehouse and all, right. all the others. Yeah, but that's so, part of but, well, but he did put in, he did put he in. Put some in. In buildings, in buildings and grounds, but more in this year. Right. And, and in, the uh, question, what number is that? The question that you asked me to remind you. I know, and I, I didn't Blue ask him. Was and write it did down. he put all the money in for all of the five <coughs> things that were left to be it's done? Windows replacement windows for garage is on sixteen twenty. Yeah, but but Ariane, there were other windows I, I, in the I, I know. Yeah. I know. I'm just so I'm just letting you know the windows that I was is the money all. All the money in for the rest of well, the five I don't, steps. Yes, I'm clear on that. I don't think. Well, you you're clear on the question. I'm clear on the question. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I mean, we didn't. We got this budget before <laughs> we said to do that. So it, he should have known to do it. Well, but it wasn't. And it it, was, it was, hasn't done for Jason. It, it was on his radar because because in answering your questions. And digging out the original, oh, okay. he had gone through it so that right. by the time we sat down, said, "Yeah." Oh, he actually asked me, "Do you want me to do this stuff or not?" And I said, "Yes." Let's. Um, Would you believe I'm done? No. I was given um, this about thermostats. I don't know if I'm even into it, but somebody gave it to me, and um, it's Nest. Um, it's it's about thermostats that you can control on your phone. Awesome. Um, cool. And and like it, and it, you can control it from here. Um, basically, we could pass this around. Mm -hmm. It would be a regular round dial that could be turned up. And then, if you know, if it's like 10 p.m. and somebody checks on their phone what the thermostat says at Village Hall and realizes it it's high, be turned down. it can be turned down. That would be really it's good. Also, it's I believe it's down. also programmed. And that's one of the five things that has. But, but so I don't know. I don't know if we should just go with something that is straight programmable, where it can be turned up or down while we're here. But then it come midnight and automatically yeah. goes exactly off. midnight to seven a.m. <laughs> right? Isn't that what that does? No. Okay. 
I you can get those you know, at Lowe's, though. You can get the programmable thermostats at Lowe's. Uh, right, no, it, it's, it's not like we, and we just don't have them. Right. It's not like we're it's, hard to get. This is good, good because you could leave it down all day, and then Katie, an hour, say, before a meeting, mm -hmm. could just, from home, tell it to go up to whatever. I'm actually here an hour before <laughs> <laughs> She might set it at 110 for some of us. Well, but then, then the question becomes, you know, how many phones can it connect to? Whose phone should it connect oh. to? Well, I mean, these are, that's the yeah. issue with technology. Right, but my you point, know, I think as long as What if it could be five phones and we get new phones? Now, like, if somebody fails to turn it down, which we're all capable of doing. Anyone you know. could forget, yes. Yeah. You, you know, and, and it just automatically shuts right. it down. Also because we don't know, you know, there's obviously we know that we've got the calendar, but in terms of different groups meeting in here, mm -hmm. we don't know what time they leave. We right. don't know, you know, that type of We thing. guesstimate. When we, put, when we put it on the calendar, mm -hmm. we guesstimate. Right, but if somebody's meeting goes longer than anticipated, we don't know that. Unless we're watching from here. <laughs> let's add this to the to the let's do loosens it. Yeah. Yeah. This. Oh, and to answer your question, you Ariana, about the audit. Cool. I think I'm reading this right because I, I photocopy the same page, different page on the same piece of paper. But um, eighty eight a sixteen twenty right, right above replacement windows, you see building repairs. <laughs> Thing has gone from fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred. So you put in another thousand yep. dollars yeah, to do yeah. okay, bits cool. and pieces from the audit. Then, sweet. Won't be enough. But for the thermostats, for the a new thermostat, I would think we should replace them all, and I would suspect they probably cost about five. The kind we're talking. All right. About. Well, that's another thing that Katie. We're going to have Blue spec out the cost to do everything. For the audit stuff that hasn't audit. been done and what is in. And all right, Ariana, was it? Did you have anything else? Um, I don't think I did. Oh, but there's one other thing while you're looking. I think I put in sidewalk more sidewalk money to go directly to the reserve. Mm -hmm. If someone has had I discovered, that, no? yeah. I looking. discovered three things. Um, the nets are 250 apiece. Ariane, before we ever took office, the prior board, and so this doesn't affect the budget, the prior board authorized five curb cuts from the sidewalk reserve fund. I don't think those curb cuts were ever done, and those are the curb cuts that you and Brian were very concerned about <coughs> in terms of crosswalks. Which, uh, where are they? Pardon? Where are they? That I don't, the, the budget didn't show where. Uh, I found in the minutes before we all took office that the prior board all had already authorized five sidewalk cuts, huh. curb cuts, from the reserve fund. And, and it was never done. implemented. It was never done. I, I, I. So the <coughs> ones me. that you talked about wanting to do, okay, don't have to be a budget item because they're already authorized from the reserve fund. All right. So it's a matter of coordinating the ones that you recommended to all of us with the sidewalk reserve fund. Also, we're all done with the curb cut on Henry Du Bois, right? Yes. For that. No. No, it's not. It, it was not painted. But, and yeah, no. it, there aren't signs. But that's, you got to wait that's till the spring. Yeah. That's, yeah. well, that's yeah. what yeah. I. That's, I mean, that's you, what I told. But, but the curb committee. cut did happen. The actual yeah. physical change. Right. Oh, the oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yes. That would be one. This already been authorized, and then the ones on Main Street that you were concerned about with that butt out, you know, at Church Street. I forget where you, I didn't go back and look. Oh, um, those are already authorized and paid for from the reserve fund. Church Street going to where we want to close off the, that, that drive. Right, but we don't know whether that's going to happen or not. I think we're going to close that off anyway, Jason. Which one? <laughs> the, what do we call it? The driveway off Main Street into the parking lot behind? I, uh, I had all that information from Joe Ariel, and I have neither Will nor I have been able to get get it from him. So we have really? to have Will do it all over again. 
that and uh, and the deed, the title search to look into what would be required to close Church Street, like a bunch of us have been talking mm-hmm. about for years. And he didn't. And get it. and the uh, I had him draft me a memo. He was supposed to have drafted me a memo, memo right before he left about what we do about the fact that a, a private farm is using public land to farm across the river at our boat launch. What? Yeah. The boat launch on the other side of the river, if you go up toward Shivertown, By the Springtown, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. you make that right and go all the way. It's not maintained. It's like you can, there's danger to get a boat in. But if you look at a, at a parcel map, we own about 50 yards on either side of that road and it gets planted and harvested right up to the road. So I think at the time it was the Watchtower Farms. So I had personally a problem with, especially a religious organization, making private profit on public land. But they may not have ever known. But, and that's what I said, and that's a big but. So I wanted to see the title search and, and, and have a letter to them saying, I think this is what's going on before I brought it to the board. So, but all that stuff we we're still waiting for. And Joe has not returned I my calls or bills. tell him that everything had to be turned over. Well, I, I did, and Will did, and we're going we're gonna to try it one more time. Okay. Um, so is there anything you else? You to go to the bathroom, young session? lady. That's what happens yes. in school. Actually, I just wanted to share with the board one tiny little bit of information that was shared with me today. Um, one of the energy auditors who had submitted a proposal called me to see what the process was. I explained what the public record is, is that we're fulfilling the one from 2004. Then the board will revisit it revisit the other proposals that were submitted. And he said, great, I'm glad that you're doing that just to let you know in general an audit, an energy audit like that has a shelf life of four years. So if you're doing 2004, right. you probably still have more stuff you need to do. Sure. Yeah. So I just wanted to give that information yep. to the board. Thank you. Thank you. No, that's what my thoughts were at the time, but you know. Do you want to do <clears throat> this before the big I didn't realize so much about having been done more exactly from the old one. Right. No, let's finish the budget okay. and then come out. All right. Uh, but let's take a five-minute break, if that's right. Yeah. 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 I just can't watch on today. Because, like, the part of the streets, part of the structure, the companies who did it, and the private investment, no public. I met at the UN Conference of Mayors in 05, and we ended up <coughs> becoming friends, arguing for tougher green building standards. But the difference between cities that are far ahead in one thing and so far behind in another, depending on the part of the world you're in, mm-hmm. Ew. Anyway, all right. Ew, Oops, I better sorry. go to the doctor's. <laughs> you want to say that on camera? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, only had, I only had three questions. I really do think it would be good once we talk to invite Don Christian or his designee, who might be Mr. whose name is on this, provided the draft for him to our next meeting, to, oh, winners, rich winners, um, <coughs> to clarify some of these things. One of my questions was, does local zoning law carry weight? In other words, and it sort of goes along corollary to what you were asking, Ariane, and that is, uh-huh. if the company buys the property to become an incubator or whatever we right. want to call that, do they pay property tax, or are they exempt <coughs> from only business <coughs> income tax? Okay, I think I'm not clear on that. I, now. I feel like there's going to be a lot of gray area with this. You know, I like what what Don Christian said to me, and I know we just said this, but now I'll say it for the camera is that the incentives are on income tax and sales tax. Right. Um, you know, but I. I, what you know the example I was given the idea that say say I want to open up a business and I'm partnering with the college we're going to incorporate their different academic disciplines and you know have uh, jobs for college graduates so I make significant improvements to a building in order to accommodate this particular business and maybe there's some kind of specific technology or lab related to it then is that part of it, part of the assessed value of the building that is taxable? Or is that part of it, is the building at its previous assessed value what I pay taxes on? Or, you know, I think this is like, it, there, you know, there's been so much gray area with the tax incentives for 
this community in relation to the college, and I would like to have very specific answers. So that, I think, is a really yeah. good question. And I, I, I'd like to make it clear to him and to whoever else will listen that we just can't afford more tax breaks. The thing is, I, I don't think that's, I don't think that that is uh, lost on them. I think that their, mm-hmm. their perspective and way of going about it is, it, that's just not what it's about. I mean, See, in my, in my experience, and this is the third president? Second or third college president? It's definitely the second. Um, Gotta be the second. Yeah, second. I can't remember who was before Steve Hoskinser. Um, it was Bowen. Yeah, so three. I dealt briefly with Bowen. Um, anyway, the point is, is that for as good people as they are, they're... Their planning and vision doesn't extend past the campus boundaries. So, just a small example of you know they had the idea of moving all the parking lots away from kind of the the downtown of campus or in the humanities, move them out farther by the gym. Somehow thinking that that meant people were going to park farther away and walk, when all it did was congest these streets even more and eat up more of our parking because it didn't occur to them that people will park as close as they can, mm-hmm. and that means off campus as well as on campus. So they only really thought about on campus. So it's I have I want to make sure that the, these right, points get reiterated. I don't expect them to get it. I don't, but I, but yeah, I don't think that's a good example though because it's up to us to legislate that. It's not up to them to decide where students park on or off campus. Sure, my point is just an yeah. example of, of the planning that goes into this is set campus centric planning. I, I see what Everything you're saying, but I don't think that, that I think that example is. You know, their their plan, their job is to plan on campus, and our job is to plan for the village community wide. Right. So, we so I think which is why parking on residential to get streets, us to have you restrict them to residential right. parking. Yeah, but so we're on a separate topic, and I okay. think we should. I think we should do that. Um, but so. You know what? What they're doing now, though, is it's not going to be on campus. What they're the businesses are going to be off campus. Right. They don't and he have. said that he's not looking for the college to be in the business of starting businesses. The only place on campus that this is going to be going on is within the the, the new engineering building when it is when it is revamped and they're going to have some kind of laboratories there. So it could be something like a business incubator, but it is not going to house a business. Oh, okay. Well, they did, he did mention that one uh, uh, little house that they purchased right on the edge of campus. Right, 62. As a potential, if I'm remembering correctly, right. as a, a potential small business. Right. But that's an example of a property going off the tax rolls altogether. Well, they've already the purchased it. it. The college bought it. It is off the tax rolls. That's not the and question it, it, we're with. Yeah. Right. And, and just, I, I know that property, and it's big. The it the big. um the footprint of, of the buildings is very small compared yeah. to the amount of acreage. Right. There. It goes all the way back. Just something that we yeah. have to. So what do we want to do about, about this? Are we going to ask Don to come to our next meeting? I think well, we the thing is, we have to have our comments in by April second. So if we have him come to our next meeting, when are we going to vote on what our comments are? We're going to have to draft comments because that, that's March twenty sixth, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> yeah, March twenty yeah. sixth. So that that would give us zero time to have a special meeting. But we could do it on the twenty. We well, could have seven a special days. Meeting. Yeah. <clears throat> I think we could pretty much draft. Once we know the answers, to and he may not even know the answers himself. So. Well, what if we ask? Or what if we ask them the questions that we have? The rest of us. Send them now in advance. Yeah, so yeah, that send them now. The only thing they'd be doing at the at the meeting is answering is our questions. Answer additional questions. I think that's a good idea to to send the questions, inviting to, these are the questions that we have that we want to address. Yeah. come prepared to answer. Because one of the things that I think we ought to do is encourage them, if they are thinking of trying to attract businesses, having those businesses located in our new B3. I mean, rather than higgly piggly pop, encourage them to, and there's a lot of land that's not developed or is going to be redeveloped. Mm-hmm. And encourage them to 
to think about using RB3 for right. in their planning. I like that. Yeah, I, I also like that because um, we could have we could have more control over what the B3 ends up looking like if this is part of well, no, that's business. that's the the corollary yes. question. Do local zoning laws and codes and building codes and all of our setbacks mm -hmm. do they apply? They would oh, have to. Uh, I would be I surprised would, if yeah, they don't. Good Otherwise, they could put anything they if yeah. <sighs> then they could put anything they want. They could put a smokestack, you know. Well, a, which which they, they, they could. Have. That's that status quo if it's on campus. But these are not on campus. Unless they get they're in that determination, that land use determination that the SUNY Central runs seeker on start of New York applications. In which case it's SUNY Central who does the land See, use plan. That's my big question. Is that's do our seeker reviews and all of the our zone our current zone? Oh, so that this is a that's this is a question, question, yeah. question yeah. for us to ask. Do all for all businesses involved in this New York Startup New York. Startup New, New York. York program. Are they all subject to, to local, local planning zoning and planning and, review? And planning review. Yeah. You know, because I'm curious about what CUNY does. Also a state yes. university. But their buildings are all interspersed among all other private owned buildings. Yeah, so what that's happens it, when, that's you, it. That's when you develop whole, that? Do you go to, to New the York. city? As New York. Oh yeah, I know, but in terms of land, York, use, I mean, land use patterns and who runs the review. Yeah. When CUNY Hunter wants to build an annex building two blocks over, does SUNY Central run the can you run the seeker or does the city of New York run the seeker? You know that's and an I example would, of what I'm talking about. Would, an example, okay, actually. so that's one question. Two question is would they be willing to concentrate their efforts in RB3 and attached is RB3, Katie, that we would attach it right to mm -hmm. our question two. So Katie, do you want to send out, um, even before the minutes, if they're not, if they're long, too long, uh, but send this list of questions to the village board tomorrow to make sure we got it transcribed right? Yeah. yeah. And then if there's no correction, send it right under the college mm -hmm. president? Yeah. Thanks. And as per the board's instructions last week, we've already invited uh, President Christian to the next week's meeting. Oh, we have already. Yeah. Okay. Both by phone and by phone. I think Tom's idea of sending the questions ahead of time. Yeah so that those can be answered mm -hmm. and then that they might generate more questions right but at least we'll have the basic mm -hmm. questions answered and we're not mm -hmm. getting a canned presentation yeah exactly, yeah, exactly. And so you and you're you got, really close to huh? and then the other thing it seems to me is wouldn't it make more sense that they would look aside from our b3 I mean, the, the suggested properties they're talking about are all over the place. Yes, they are. And that seems to me to be a very... Mm -hmm. Well, again, you know, what, what's he supposed to do? He's, he's scanning the, the area right. to see what's a available. possible mm -hmm. and available location. So mm -hmm. He's got somebody who's doing all the legwork. What's he going to do? That's that's where yeah. the well, a lot of these are not in the village, so they don't even many of them. Yeah, he said it's within five miles and eight miles around the campus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so that's the, that's know. like the secondary the secondary range. The primary range is but my question, within a mile, and then the secondary right, the law range is, written, is but my question comes within the village. Aside from our B three. Do we want them to concentrate in one area as properties might become available that abut the campus? Do we want that to be on 32? Do we want that to be on 208 rather than our residential streets? You understand? Yeah, I do. I do. Is that a yeah. worthy question? Well, I think that any anything that we've zoned as commercial or mixed use should be, you know, anything that's residential shouldn't be allowed to be on them. I, I don't know that we have that call. Well, we might, though. I mean, we're already asking, are all yeah. of these businesses yeah. 
subject to local zoning mm -hmm. and planning. And I think also a question to ask is, is it the college's intention to buy more property for the purposes of this program? Well, my, my that's a big difference. My man. quick reading is that it, 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 this is an alliance that, between the college and businesses, right? Am yes, I am yes, I not right? It's the it businesses is. that would be connecting to the college. The the uh, reward up front to the businesses is the tax forgiveness in income and sales tax. But, is that sufficient? But. I'm not, I'm not, I'm going a step further and I'm saying, I'm a business, okay? Mm -hmm. I really want to get connected with the college. I am going to provide the college with all the 3D equipment it needs to do the 3D startup. We'll use that as an yeah. example. However, Tom, that's a big commitment on my part to you, SUNY New Boss. So how about you buy the land, and then I'll put up my company. Well, let's ask him. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't want to make this not look like, but I, I really do want some defined yeah, parameters right. mm -hmm. and to understand what we're really talking about here. Mm -hmm. I, I want, look, you know, I, I don't know what their resources are, but I have been the president of a state college, and we didn't have any money that would have permitted us to go and buy land in anticipation of a payoff. Uh, now, maybe SUNY is, but I was also in SUNY for 15 years, and uh, I would be startled to learn that they have available funds uh, for projects that are likely to arise like this, well, rather than the plan for 10 years in advance. Yeah, but one of the purposes of the mission of the foundation is to do exactly that. The, there would that's, be nothing, the yeah, that's that's nothing a, to preclude the foundation from doing it. If the foundation, if the, if the, if the particular New Paltz Foundation, oh, or if it's part right. of the SUNY Foundation, if they have a lot of extra money, then of course they can do projects right. like that. And it yes. goes off the yeah. tax roll. Of course it goes off the tax That's my, If it's, if that's it's my owned question. by a, a, a foundation, right. and it's a, a charitable quote unquote foundation, then of course it goes off the tax rolls. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so, so, so we've got a list of questions. Is there anything we need to add? Pardon? All right. Anything yeah. to add to the list of questions? Did you want to specify any more about secret? No, just who runs it. Okay. That's all I need. There's only okay. more. Actually, you know, in addition, like Gary and I were just having this little conversation, um, I would also like to ask what their intentions are with that property on 32, if they intend to further build on it. Because um, I, I just said it's, it's like big enough to put a hotel on, you know? Oh, it's a problem. Like, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. What did they buy it for? Right. Yeah, it's huge. It's part of um, an old orchard, and it's got, a, you know, um, a two-family house and a back building as well. So... I'd be curious. Is that a two family house now? It was. It's, well, it was a. It, it, there was an apartment downstairs in the basement, basically, and then a house up. That was Margaret Noah's old house. Yeah. And she was um, a teacher in the school district. Okay. I just know her daughter. Yeah. But yeah. But that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I actually went there to help them to move out. So. <laughs> Uh, the tenant right, as well as the other people. in the back. I mm -hmm. forgot about that. Yeah. There's all, right. all sorts of stuff. Okay. It's huge. Um, well, then I'll move we adopt bills and claims. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I get the questions to us, Katie, and then we First. will promise to review them. As, as them soon as we finish up here tomorrow, we will do that, and I will do that, and 
Okay. So move to go in executive session. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And thanks. You can. Uh, we're not going to make any decisions out of executive session. Not no. Okay. No. Yeah, because we're not voting on the budget. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.